day, everybody. It is Cal Laxon here, and today we are watching the Genshin Impact story teaser. All of them. I mean, this is we will be reunited because that's the first one in the playlist. But we are watching all of them. I am live on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, I am not live anymore. So if you guys see me looking over here, sometimes I'm looking at the chat. But for all intents and purposes, this is me recording a YouTube video with company. I played Genshin two years ago. Unfortunately, I also started my second round of university two years ago. So I started playing Genshin at the very beginning, you know, when the game came out. Um, and it didn't work out very well because I had school. So I played a little bit. Like I did Mondstadt and I did Leeway and then I dropped the game because I was like, we do not have time. And it's basically been two years or so. So a, a couple weeks ago, I pulled for Farina and I just got familiar with the game. And then after that, we did the Dan's Leaf like first quest. I don't know, the prologue to We Will Be Reunited basically. And We Will Be Reunited. So that's where I am. I have not seen Inazuma. I have not seen Sumeru and I have not seen Fontaine. I've seen some of the characters characters in passing and then Genshin guessing did include Inazuma characters. So like I know about like Aritaki Ito. Like, I know that he has a gang and he steals candy from children or something. And I know about like the Revolution Boy and I know about Raiden Shogun and I remember very distinctly in my video like in the Genshin character guessing I was like Raiden Shogun sounds like a title. Does that mean that she's possessed by the Raiden Shogun and like this person has a real name and a real personality and we'll never get to see it because she's possessed by God and Arnold just sat there like that's kind of where we're at is that Arnold thought that it would be a good idea for me to start watching the story teasers after doing Dane's Leaf and so I do like I know things about the characters from Genshin guessing in terms of things that I guessed or things that I perceived but like it's not like Arnold told me whether I was right or not so I just want to get into the teaser with all of that context with the fact that I played the game two years ago I dropped it I picked it back up we did Dane's Leaf I've seen people like I've seen what Farina looks like but like I don't know what she sounds like really or anything about her you know there's the new character that just got a trailer recently they're gonna be included in this too the girl with the parasol like I don't really know anything about these people right so we are going to get started not story teasers teaser trailers well this whatever it's in the playlist it's okay right and so yeah we're going to do all of the teasers that exist I suppose and so why don't we just at least get into the first one please oh look and she's like being carried by that's so so I'm guessing do oh. not belong in this world. Oh shit! Well, because in canon, the sister's evil, right? So that's our sibling, like a queen. Oh fuck! Oh, so she touched the dandelion. That's why we knew day, it had her scent on it or something. Like, or I guess end. our brother, because I play as the girl. Oh my god! Is this what happened to, oh my god, the place, Dane's Leaf's place? Holy shit! Oh, she trampled it? That's fucked up! But until the abyss has engulfed She didn't need throat, to do all that! My war with destiny oh. will see no end. Okay. Your Highness, our plan to recognize the dragon has been impeded. Right! By the Animo Archon. He rises again for the dragon's sake. Oh, wait, okay, so this is during... No, not the okay, no, okay, so this is during Venti. Right. Oh, no! Oh, oh, well, fuck! <sighs> See, this is kind of confusing because I play as the girl, but... Your journey ends here. Shit! <sighs> wait, so she knew all this time that we were out there? And she just, like, left us alone? We will be reunited, dear oh, brother. Oh, okay. But not here. Not now. Oh, man. Okay. We will meet at this journey's end. Once the dust has settled. What do you mean? Then <gasps> you will understand. No! No, I won't. I don't want to. I'm mad. Okay, hold on. So I think that what we should do for this one in particular, I won't do this with all of them. I think that we do need to go back. Okay, so outlanders do not belong in this world. Sure, I get that. Okay, wait a second. Wait a fucking minute, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just saw something that I think is interesting. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Can we go back? Like, ah, uh, damn it. Am I just crazy? I thought that these things were like what Paimon has. 
like these things here. I thought the floor had some sort of symbol, how Paima. So it took place when we were saving Devon. But yeah, I'm looking at these ruins and I'm like, is this not the thing that Paimon and Danesleaf both have? Like just the little swirly things. I don't know. I don't know what you call them. Just the stuff on their clothes. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, the fact that she purposely stepped on that dandelion, she stepped down just so she could crush it. I wonder if that's supposed to be like, like hopes and dreams because the whole point of a dandelion is that you make a wish, right? So it's like wishes. Fuck the wishes. No one cares. Like, you know what I mean? Like no one cares. This journey will or it could be her and her brother because it's like this is a bigger dandelion like she has like seen things and this is a smaller dandelion like he's just started to grow kind of situation maybe but yeah I guess canonly this is her seeing the destruction of cans oh no Conria <laughs> Conria, right? But okay, so these are the boxes from that lady. So that lady really came down to like fuck over this place, I suppose. <laughs> Right, like, you know what I mean? Like, this lady really came down here to, like, fuck this place over and, like, smite them down and all that. Both cannons, so just use Abyss Lumen. I'm gonna say sibling and the traveler, I think. I think that's what we decided on last time. But yeah, it's hard because you don't really see anything that resembles human life, but maybe it's already all been torn down. But yeah, like, it just, it looks like that they were destroying ruins on top of more ruins. But yeah, I wonder, like, she just, she went out of her way to step on that. Okay, until the abyss has engulfed the thrones oh okay so maybe every god maybe every god has their own thrones right conria was underground then like what is this then, uh, well i guess maybe they like went into the city like you know what i mean like it went downwards like maybe this was just the above sort of area and then they just went down into the yeah that surface yeah, the surface destruction. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so obsessed with the fact that she just stepped on the dandelion and did not give a shit. I think that the thrones is probably talking about like, okay, this is kind of weird, but I feel like that like, I don't know, haven't you guys ever seen that thing where it's like every Greek god has like their own throne and it's like themed to them? Kind of like, you know, in Percy Jackson, how they all have the cabins. Like, I just sort of imagine that each god actually has a throne that they sit on. You know? My war with destiny will see no end. Okay. Your Highness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, uh, okay, we all know this. Like, it's not just the animal archon. Like, your brother is causing problems, right? Okay, so this is what I want to see again, though. Outlanders. Your journey ends here. So, like, but what was her beef? Like, why did she have beef? You know what I mean? Like, what was her beef with us exactly? That, like, she had to, like, she said your journey ends here. But, like, wouldn't it be more, like, wouldn't it be better for her to just let us go home? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why? Like, why would she do this? Why would we get stuck here? I guess. You know, like, why would she want us to be here and to stay? That's what I'm sort of wondering. Like, why? I don't know. Why does she want us to stay here? That's what I don't quite understand. I guess your journey ends here as in I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> but you could have just sent them home, lady. I don't know. I feel like there's more going on with her where maybe she wanted them to stay or something. Like, I feel like that there's still like that, you know, because we decided last stream that the gods aren't bad people. Like, we decided last stream that the beef was is that Conria wanted to take down the gods, and so the gods came down and were like, stop that, right? Or like, the idea that like, Conria's like, we have a godless nation, so every nation should be godless. We're gonna go colonize every other nation, and like, then they'll be free, and they won't have gods anymore. And then that god and her friends were like, ah, uh, I don't think so, bestie. Like, you know what I mean? And so that god came down and like smited Conria for its arrogance. And that's a theory that we had last stream, I believe. Oh shit, Robin, there was something that I told you. Do you remember that I was like, I was like freaking out because I told you something? Do you remember what it is? Is he still here? I'll check my phone. I wrote it down though. Paimon is small, like the abyss mages. What if those mages were full size before? Dansleaf's people are shrinking. I need to write this down for the next stream. That was not as good as I remember. Why did I say that, right? I guess it's because the guy, like the guy that we encounter in the last quest, he's tall, right? You know, and so Dane's leaf is also tall, right? But then all the abyss mages are tiny and then Paimon's also tiny. So maybe Paimon's an abyss mage. I guess that that's like what we were trying to
thing to do. I guess that that's kind of what we were getting at. Dane's Leaf is cursed to be immortal, and the Abyss Mages are also from Conria, which means that Paimon, if she's also from Conria and she doesn't remember, they're small. Yeah, if we had a theory that Dane's Leaf was Paimon size in the past, but then we found out that he was immortal, and so that theory, though, can still track because the other things are also from Conria, and they're small, and Paimon is also small. They're not as tiny as Paimon, they just float like her, but like they're around the same size. They're good enough, like that's good enough for me. So I think that now we can move on. I think now we can move forward and watch the next one. We had no time to Okay, so is this after? So let's not call it that. Is this after we led the quest? Or when they had to say goodbye the first the time. Begun. Oh. It is just a continuation of past battles. Is that not Zong Li? The gods goad us on with no, the wait, that's Dane's of their seven treasures. Rewards for the worthy. Wait. The doorway to divinity. Okay. Yet buried in the depths of this world lies oh. smoldering remains. A warning to those that dare trespass. Right. That throne in the sky is not reserved for you. Right, okay. <laughs> But mortal arrogation never stops. Yeah, okay, the arrogance of man, right? Okay. None will escape the flames. I need See to listen to yourself. that again. The dragon who defended Mondstadt for a millennium finally faces his perturbation. What does freedom really mean when demand is from God? <gasps> the God of contracts. Oh, okay, so they're going through. People watched on in horror. But he wasn't really. Man, that was the whole point. He will sign the contract to end all contracts. Right. Okay. Yes, that I understand. In the secluded land of the immortal oh, shogun, the Bakufu rules eternal. Mm hmm. But what do mortals see of the eternity chased after by oh, their god? Oh, I think I understand. Okay, okay. I understand, but I'll talk about it after. The god of wisdom oh, is wisdom itself. And the oh, so we're going like through all of them. Of the oh. In the city of scholars, there is a push so for So it's fun. like this is what the gods Yet established, the god of but makes no argument against here's how the gods them. actually work. Like, here's how they actually function. No, 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 the I god understand of now. lives for the spectacle of the courtroom, seeking to mm. judge all other gods. But. But even she knows yeah, not to make an enemy. I see. Of the so fire. it's like, you know, how they all, like, they, it's explaining their role, but still what they refuse the to do. Of war are woven in the womb. Oh. The victors shall burn bright. So this is even past what we have now. Turn to ash. Shit. When the god of war shares this secret with the traveler, oh. it is because she has her reasons. Okay. She is a god with no love left for right. her people. Right, Naya. Nor do they have any left for her. Her followers hope only to be on her side oh, on the day of her rebellion against the divine. Is that gonna be the silver-haired girl? I think she would fuck as a in ruler the of something, but. In the time of a sheltered eternity, most are content to live and not to dream. Mm. But in the hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall. There are those who dream a dream. Okay. A dream yet to Some be dreamed. Oh, are Conria! The rest are dregs. But I say we humans have our humanity. Okay. We will defy this world with a power from beyond. Well, fuck. Okay, Danes, leave. That didn't go so well for you guys, though. You who has set foot in this world. Your journey has reached its end. But one final doorway Wait, remains. so this is after we've already gone through everything then step forth if you have understood the meaning of your journey defeat me command me to step aside wait what show me that you are worthier than i to rescue her to rescue you lumen yeah. or to rescue somebody the else of all fate will be yours to reweave oh no okay wait a minute i have so much to think about like i am i'm thinking oh shit does that mean that we have done this before and failed like it just kind of sounds like at this point it, uh, are we done hold on my memory oh no we're not done sorry i paused it too early but i oh. will always remember how no! much she too wait what oh my god i'm gonna die what is going on okay hold on hold on hold on i have so many thoughts i think that we just need to go through 
through it piece by piece. Like, we need to analyze it piece by piece. And I promise that after, like, we will... Like, this probably won't happen for the other trailers. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, like, I understand. I feel like I understand, and also I don't. Okay. So let's not call it that. That sounds like Aether. That's Aether. It sounds like Aether's talking. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit just for my ears because we've already seen it once, so I'm gonna go through it again. Okay. These two videos might have to be their own video at this point. Leave them alone. The Maybe. Okay. The war has already begun. It's just a continuation of past battles. Okay. So, like, that's, like, you know, it's the war that's going on right now, like, with the Traveler going to all of the nations. It's, like, things have always been this way. There has always been, like, this constant struggle. It's, this is not the first time that these things have necessarily happened, is how I feel. The gods goad us all. Okay, so this is the Seven Treasures. They're talking about, I think, the, um, the no, not, yeah, the Gnosis? Whatever Venti has. Venti lost his, and then Zongli, he just gave it away. He was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore, right? So I guess, but I don't think that that's necessarily what he's talking about. I think he's talking about like, oh, you know, the gods have these things, but we'll give you a vision. Be having a vision, that's almost like being a god, right? So it's like almost like somebody got a taste, you know, somebody got a taste, you get a taste of the vision, and then you want more, right? Like you want more than just a vision. You want like the other things, right? Because what is a vision if not a dumbed down version of what Venti and like Zhongli has? And so I feel like that's, oh, we'll give you a vision, you know? And then like that's rewards for the worthy. Like we'll, we'll give you a vision and that's how you know that like you're a worthy person in our eyes and that you deserve it. Not like the people that have to make delusions because they can't have a, like, you know, because they don't, we weren't chosen, right? Noses, not gnosis, gnosis is, gnosis is, not noses, gnosis, g gnosis, <laughs> the gnosis. You're goaded on with the promise that if you're subservient to the gods, almost, you'll get a vision. And if you don't get one, that's because you suck. <laughs> right? And so I feel like that that's the thing. It's like you tempted humanity by giving them visions as if to placate them. And now, are you surprised that they want more? Are you surprised that maybe they want like a gnosis? <laughs> that they want your gnosis? <laughs> yeah, it's like the ultimate, a vision's like the ultimate reward, but then humans are like, well, wait a minute, there's something better than a vision, and it's what the gods have. So that's that's what I'm feeling out so far as I read these things. I have no idea why my subtitles are so big. Buried in the depths of this world lies smoldering remains. Yeah, see, and it's like somebody got too close. Somebody, somebody didn't like you know. Somebody got too close to the gods. Somebody thought that they could do better, and that was uh, Conria, and that's why Conria, like that's the warning, right? You think that the gods are on your side just because they give you visions no as soon as you cross the line they will fuck you up that's how i think so that's how i think it is that dare trespass you know that throne in the sky is exactly that throne in the sky no not for you conria because you don't get one <laughs> you don't get one you don't deserve one you do not deserve a place among us maybe reserved for you but mortal arrogation. Exactly. Never... But humanity continues to be arrogant despite being told, right? Yeah, you need ambition to get a vision. Exactly. But not just ambition, but you kind of also, I'm not saying that you have to be subservient, but like, I think that that's kind of Dane's Leaf's point is that if you want a vision, if you want, if you want that, then the problem is, is that you kind of need to be on the gods' good side. Like, there's a little bit of nepotism, right? And so, yeah, Conria didn't need the gods, obviously. But I wonder if Dane's Leaf's point is that there's sort of a, how can you really be deserving of something? There's no objective, like, there's no objectiveness to that. Being worthy is subjective. And it's only, like... Its subjectivity is based on the god that provides you with that vision, right? So, like, okay, so that's a good question. Does Venti give out every single animo vision? Does Raiden Shogun give out every electro vision? Like, can she, like, does she give out every single vision to her own people? Or does she only give out visions of the electro kind? Because what if, for example, in Inazuma, they just were like, no. 
none of you can use a vision anymore or something like or none of you can use an electro vision anymore because if the Raiden Shogun can control that and people like the rebellion boy are doing rebellious things can she be like no no more no more visions not in this house right and so obviously like when we get to Inazuma and like Sumeru and whatever like we'll see if that's actually the case but I wonder does everyone have dominion over do all the gods have dominion over every single vision like does Venti give everybody animo even the people that don't live in Mondstadt and it's just the people that he thinks are like free-spirited or some bullshit I don't know right and so like the Raiden Shogun gives visions to everybody that like suits her definition because they like you know, Dainsleaf does define each nation practically in this. Those things that he's talking about are the reasons why and why not people get a vision or not. Not just human arrogance, but like irrigation as in, you know, to take something without justification or the right. So I wonder if that's also about like you, people that don't have visions, they want them. And that's also connected to the delusions, the idea that people have made delusions kind of to fuck over the gods. You know what I mean? You didn't give us a vision, so we're gonna make our own delusion. But I think it even goes beyond delusion. I think it goes to Conria making things without the help of the gods and then that making the gods kind of pissed off. Because if you can make technology that rivals the power of the gods so that no one needs a vision anymore, then you wonder how can the gods continue to have control over a population of people? How can the gods continue to make order if humans are able to have power through technology that rivals the gods? So I think that there's a couple things going on. Like there's a conversation about visions, but I think that there's also a conversation about Conria specifically in here. And both of these conversations are happening at the exact same time time and so it's that Conria had power to rival visions and that in that case if they shared that with everyone would the gods lose their standing and their power yeah I'm thinking about that Lumen like I'm thinking about whether or not that this is like Twisted Wonderland where everybody in the Lion King house has an attribute like Scar everybody in a certain house a house represents something Hearts and Bull is about the rules Scarabia is about like the cunning of Jafar and how Savannah Claw is about the tenacity of the King of Beasts and Octa Vanilla is about the contracts right like making deals with people and being shady so I wonder like now in hindsight like if we looked at every holder if we looked at every single holder of a vision would that person have the attribute of the god and like what the god values so for Venti if we looked at all the people with an animo vision do they all value freedom and free spirit I don't know that that's something that would be interesting to look at in hindsight, because I'm not really sure. None will escape the flames. Okay, well, Conria went down in see flames. Mm, I wonder if Dane's leaf like, see for yourself because he told someone, like, that's what happened. Like, go there. At the end of all this, you will go to Conria and you will see. The dragon who defended Mondstadt for a millennium okay. finally faces his This is what I need to know. What does freedom really mean? When yeah, exactly. What does freedom really mean when demanded to of you by a god? Cuz that's what I think is that's what I think is suspicious because you give visions to people who will fight for freedom, but that freedom is defined by you. And by you, I mean like the Raiden Shogun or Zon Lee or like Venti. I mean, obviously, I think Venti is a good person. Like, Venti himself is a good person, but that doesn't mean that everyone with the Gnosis... <laughs> that doesn't mean everyone with the Gnosis is, but, like, that's an interesting thing to note. It's, like, is freedom, for example, starting a revolution, like we think is going on in Inazuma, or do people think that you're going too far in that case, right? And so, like, freedom can mean a lot of different things to different people, but usually if you were like, well, my definition of freedom is rising against the gods, like, is rising against the gods, the gods would be like, I don't think so, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't think so, I don't like that, right? And so you wonder if the gods are defining free like what it means to be free and what it stop saying gnosis i'm just joking chat i'm just joking because you, when i said gnosis last time you guys bullied me i think that that's an interesting question i think that's an interesting thing to ask because then the gods can basically be like actually no like that's not freedom don't do that <laughs> that's not what freedom means don't do that and if you buy a god it's weird though that d luke is here because you do not have an animo vision so i don't understand 
understand why you're here exactly. The God of Contracts. Yes. Okay. The God of Contracts sent Lisley slaughtered as his Lisley own people. Slaughtered as his people watched on. In the end, he will sign the contract to end all mm. contracts. Hmm. Okay. Well, now that it is sounding like that, it's the description of what happened and not necessarily the particular values that they have. But I, I do wonder if in a general sense, even though that's not, that's not really helping me, but the idea that has some sort of ties to a leeway mindset of contracts and making deals and then the animo still freedom. Because yeah, now that I'm actually looking at this, this seems more unrelated to the values that they hold and more related to what the story is, was or is going to be. The secluded land of the immortal Shogun. Wait a minute, there's a header for this, so should I not... Farewell. Oh, okay, so they're like, get the fuck out, Zongli. Okay. Omnipresence? Land of the okay. Shogun, the Bakufu rose eternal. Right. But what do mortals see of the eternity chased after by their... Hmm. What do mortals see of the eternity chased after by their god? It kind of sounds like that they're under some sort of surveillance stake. What is going on? Okay. I don't know what this means. I'm assuming that that's an uh, organization, I, I should say. But, but what do mortals see of the eternity chased after? Okay, see, this is where things get interesting. What do mortals see of the eternity chased after by their god? There's two ways to understand this sentence. What do mortals see as in what do we get? Like, what do we get? out of that like you know you the god has eternity but what do mortals see of that nothing it'd be like like i don't know what do kalaxin's editors see of the money chased after by kalaxin like that my editors do not see the money right like that's what you could say like kalaxin chasing the youtube ad revenue what do the editors see of it like of it as in like the money right so what do mortals see of the eternity chased after by their god could be Danesleaf criticizing the fact that like Mortals have a very short lifespan while their god gets to live forever. Or it could be the mortals are sorry for the fact that the Raiden Shogun is forced to live in eternity. So the question I have is that do they mean see as in what do mortals see of it? As in mortals don't get that same luxury being able to live forever? Or is it like the mortals actually think that the Raiden Shogun situation is quite sad? we had that theory that again the show the shogun was like a position and the god possesses a mortal woman or a i don't know it could be a man but i think it's a woman because genshin guessing it was a woman character right so they possess this woman and she gets to live forever and all the other mortals don't so is that what do they see as in this mortal is chosen by god how dare that mortal like one mortal be chosen to live forever and all these other mortals suffer or is it like the mortals that live in Inazuma actually think like that it's not a good thing to be chosen as Raiden Shogun. Like, you know, like that they don't think it's a good thing, that they actually think it's quite sad and maybe even a bad thing, like a punishment to have to live forever and give up your autonomy. So I'm not entirely sure what they mean, but she looks quite sad. This is not the Raiden Shogun though, but like this girl looks sad. Like, are the people oppressed? Like, is it like these people are oppressed or is it that these people are sorry that this would happen, which is... The god of wisdom's enemy is wisdom itself. Okay, his wisdom itself and the oasis of knowledge is a mirage and the desert of ignorance. Okay, interesting. So I think that what this one is saying, this is pretty clear. The fact that there's a god of wisdom in Sumeru and that their enemy is wisdom itself, which means that maybe they're policing the information that people are allowed to have. And the oasis of knowledge that the god promises is actually a mirage and that it's not actually an oasis of knowledge at all, it's a trick. Like you only know what you're allowed to know, right? And so that's why when I first watched this, when I watched it the first time, I thought that they were describing the attributes of the gods and not the situation that they were all in. That's why I was a bit confused because I thought that they were airing out the gods' hypocritical nature, I suppose. Like I thought that that's what they were doing. I thought that they were trying to explain how all of the gods were hypocrites because of this particular line, but maybe that's not what they were doing. 
However, in hindsight, I mean, I guess you could say that they're all hypocritical though, because Zong Li made a contract and then he decided he didn't want to work anymore. And so he made a contract so he was able to stop working. Like I could see them all having a switch. Ooh, wisdom is their weakness in Sumeru. See, that's interesting because you could say that the freedom, the desire for freedom was the fault of the dragon because the dragon was so desperate to be free. He was like acting, you know, he was destroying things. And like Zong Li's contract situation is almost the same thing where he wanted to get out so bad. He went out like and made another contract. And the same situation with Inazuma is that there's immortality, but at what cost? Like it could be one of those things as well. Like, like, there's weakness in everything that the gods value. But yeah, I think that this one is the most clear cut where it seems like to me that there's some sort of information, like you aren't allowed to know these things or they present you like, this is like Sumeru and everyone's so learned and cultured and like we know everything. And then we get there and we find out that that's actually not true. We only know the stuff that the God wants us to know and that everyone is just sort of brainwashed because the oasis of knowledge is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. Like that's pretty clear cut in terms of what's going on with Sumeru, I would say. They would let people be ignorant and not think for themselves. As long, hmm, you know what may be interesting? It's that if they get a little taste, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, like we'll give you a little taste, right? And then they just rely on that for everything and they just do whatever the gods say or that they think that the truth is just whatever the gods tell them could also be interesting. I don't know how to explain it any better than that, but like you stop thinking for yourself. You know how people can't spell anymore? I can't spell sometimes. Like there are sometimes there are words that I cannot spell. I don't know how to spell them. I don't know. I just rely on Google to figure it out. Like I rely on Google Docs. Google Docs needs to spell it for me. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, by the way. Sorry, chat. But anyway, maybe it's even like that, like the gods give everyone knowledge and then no one questions whether or not that's actually true. Like say the gods make a book, okay? And they give that book to everyone and that everyone thinks that the information in that book, like they have an ever-changing book or something and that they think the information in this ever-changing flowing book is true. Like a big like library of Alexandria and you just, you pick a book and it tells you anything that you wanna know and that people start to realize like, hey, what's in this book is actually not true, but nobody questions it anymore because the book is supposed to be true, right? And so I wonder, I wonder if it could be also something like that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm sort of thinking is like people don't think for themselves. And so that's why they're ignorant. They have all this knowledge, but they don't actually have any wisdom because knowledge is the collection of information. But I would say that wisdom is being able to, I mean, not wisdom in the traditional sense, but knowledge is something you can get, but wisdom is a skill that needs to be practiced. You have to be able to find information and like fact checked information information for yourself and be able to find things. So I think that maybe they're getting into that. Like everybody has knowledge. Everybody has the knowledge that they're able to access, but they don't have the critical thinking skills to decide whether or not that information is actually true. They can't vet their sources. They have no, there is no Twitter community notes. Anyway, Elf. that's what the I oasis think. The of knowledge is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. Oh yeah, there's more to this in clip too, right? Scholars, there is a yeah, exactly. There's a push for folly, right? So I'm assuming that's their folly is not trying, not having curiosity. The God of wisdom makes no argument against it. See, that's a little concerning. Push for folly. It's not you Yet though, the right? God of wisdom You're not the no God, I don't against. think. The God of justice lives for the spectacle okay. of the courtroom, seeking to judge all other gods. Right. But even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. What does this mean? <laughs> what does this mean? I don't understand. God of justice lives for the spectacle of this courtroom, seeking to judge all other gods. But like, what do you mean how? Like how is the, how are they judging all other gods? Is it, you shouldn't have your vision. Why did they give this to you? I think that that would be really funny. I think it would be really funny if you get to Fontaine, not you, but like, say for example, I, I know Child, this is the only thing I know about Fontaine. I know Child gets arrested and I'm assuming that it has nothing to do with, you know, whatever. But it's because like, he's a bad boy, right? Because he's a Fatui, right? So it makes sense. But what would be really funny is if like, they're like, 
who gave you this vision? Who gave you this ridiculous, like, you know what I mean? Who gave you this thing? But doesn't Child have a water vision? So wasn't it you? Didn't you give him the vision? But I just think it would be funny. If, for example, say D. Luke, right, walks into Fontaine, and then immediately, I don't know if it's Farina or Nouvellet who's the guy, I know one of them has to be because it's not the twins, but it's one of them. Nouvellet comes in here and is like, why did the, like, why did Natlin, why did the god of Natlin give you a pyro vision? What right do you have to have a pyro vision? Like, why would they do that, right? And so I don't think that it's judging the other gods, but maybe judging the gods' choices. Like, whenever you walk into Fontaine, they're like, oh, the Raiden Shogun gave you an Electro Vision? I don't think you deserve it. I don't think so. She made a mistake, right? And so I don't know about Child, but Child is kind of a funny example because you gave him the vision. Did it not come from you? He has a Water Vision, right? And so it wouldn't be even the other gods. That would be your own mistake at that point. But I just think that'd be hilarious, all of it. Like, that'd be hilarious for the entire, like, every other people, right? But even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. Because I don't understand what exactly that means. It's like, I guess you can judge the people, but you can't actually take away the vision. What's your source for gods giving the visions? I mean, I don't know. I just thought that they did, I guess. Source? I don't know. <laughs> I just made it up, I guess. I don't know. I thought that, like, Venti and stuff, I thought that they gave out the visions to people. I know that they come from somewhere. I mean, I don't think that Zong Lee just comes to your house and, like, gives you a vision. I don't think that that's exactly how it works, but I think that, like, they, they, they have some way of, of handing them out, of, like, knowing if people are worthy or not. So I don't know if, like, again, I don't think Venti just comes over and knocks on your door and gives you one, but yeah, I sort of wonder if they decide, though. Like, they feel it. Like, you know what I mean? They feel it in the, in the, they, their spider senses tingle and they know that there's someone out there who deserves to have a vision and they decide based on that. It's a common belief in the world though. Okay, so I probably heard it in the game. But yeah, like she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. I feel like that that's sort of like, again, with Nouvellet or Farina. Oh wait, but it's she, so it is Farina then. Even, yeah, so it is Farina. Yeah, like, I wonder if it's, like, Farina will judge you, but even she knows kind of not to meddle with the other visions. Like, she can meddle with the people that have the water vision because she has jurisdiction. Like, that's her domain. And if... Maybe that's why Child's on trial. Maybe it's because, like, Farina's just like, listen, I gave you a water vision, and what are you doing? What are you doing out here? Like, you're doing bad things with the water vision I gave you. I don't like that, right? So maybe... Like, maybe that's her, her beef. Maybe she can only control the people. Like, she judges the other gods. Maybe she can only control her own people. But yeah, I'm kind of getting this vibe that maybe they call into question people's visions or, like, if they deserve to have one. And, like, knowing not to make an enemy of the divine. Maybe she took away someone's vision and another god got mad, which would be kind of fun, which would be funky fresh. If she, if she like, I don't know, tried to take child's vision away and, like, somebody, like, because he's from Stesnaya, and I know he's part of the Fatui, but, like, Stesnaya kind of seems like they're, like, funding the Fatui or something. I don't know. Like, it kind of seems like the Fatui is indirectly supported by the Stesnaya government. I don't know. So I'm just saying, like, it would be pretty funny if, like, she does something to overstep and then the cryo leader of Stesnaya is like, okay, well, set, like, wait a minute. Also, is the silver-haired girl the head of Stesnaya? Like, the girl with the black streak in her hair? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just asking. But yeah, I know there's like theater and masquerade and like this and that, which I think is interesting with Fontaine. The Hydra Archon's finessing Cal's theory in real time. What does that mean? What's finessing mean? Is that good or bad? Who? I don't know. The girl with like, she has silver hair and it's kind of cut like this and she has like a long streak. Is, is that not... Is she the Stesnaya ruler? Okay, the rules of war are woven in the womb. The victor shall burn bright while the losers must turn to ash. Maybe Natlin doesn't have... You know what would be fun? You know what would fuck? It would really fuck if Natlin changes out the gods regularly. Like, I don't know about how, if it's ever been mentioned, who still has their gnosises and who does not have their gnosises, but it would be interesting if, like, the Natlin god already... It's like, if you can beat me in a fight, you can have my Gnosis, and this has been going on for thousands of years or something, and, like, they just have a cage match, and if you can win, you get it, and so Senora can actually win it legally in, like, a legal fight. Of war are woven in the womb. 
the victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. <laughs> you guys are saying that Gnosis is not a word. <laughs> oh man, Gnosis, Gnosis, the Gnosis. Okay, yeah, so I wonder if with Natlan, it's like, if you can beat me in a fight, you can actually have my Gnosis. But I guess we don't know right when now. The god of war shares this secret with the traveler. It is because she has her reason. She tells them then that she tells them then that that's the case. I, I, if we're going with what I said, like she tells them if you beat me in a fight, you can have my nose. <laughs> right? Okay. Well, that's interesting. I mean, in the womb sounds like that people are like literally programmed since birth. I feel like that maybe like that'd be a little questionable. I don't know if that's, I don't think that that's meant to be taken literally. Unless they do feel that way. Unless the people of Natlin... I don't know, like how Ironwood gets like hyper fixated and that's his semblance or something. Like if all these people are forced, like programmed to fight, but that sounds a little sus. That just sounds a little sus. I like my Lord idea. This secret I like my child. idea that it is because she has her It's reason. literally, if you can beat me in a fight, you can rule. And that's how their society functions. She is a god with no love left for her people. Okay, then, yeah, she's just letting, like, she's just letting, like, they're just letting her do whatever she what do wants. They have any left That's, uh, um, Zarina, right? Hope only to be on her side when the day of her rebellion. Oh, okay, against the divide. So that's what they're doing. So we have confirmation then that that's what the Fatui are trying to do right now. They're basically doing Conria part two, Electra Boogaloo. Like, that's actually what they're trying to do at the moment. Ooh, this person fucks. Whoever this is in the coat, this person definitely fucks. But yeah, like, I'm I'm thinking her followers only hope to be on her side when her the day of her rebellion against the divine comes at last. It sounds like that she's doing the exact same thing then. So wait, well then, in that case, then why... Why isn't the Fatui working together with Lumen? Like, why isn't the Fatui working together with the Abyss Mage? They seem to know, or like, then they know that they're just doing Conria again. That's an NPC. I think that they still look nice. I don't know. But yeah, that's weird. Her followers only hope to be on her side. So it's like, she's like the last thing protecting them. Like, they don't give a fuck if they don't like her. They just want to be on the winning side. And against the divine comes at last. So all of these are she, I think. Every single one has been she. Were Venti and Zong Li? Like ever since Inazuma, they've all been women? What is Genshin trying to tell? What are they trying to tell us? What's going on? What, what are they doing? In the perpetual meantime of a sheltered eternity, most are content to live and not to dream. Okay, but do they mean everywhere? Or still in Shnaznaya. Because I'm thinking that what they're saying is that under the rule of the gods, most people do not dream of breaking the system that the gods have set up. Whether it's the thing that's going on in Sumeru, or Farina being the Queen of Hearts executing people on the stand. If they're talking to everybody, like just beyond Shnaznaya, I'm thinking that in that case, that what Daneleaf is saying is that everyone has lived in the status quo for a long time. And we know that there's been war because the characters have talked about war sometimes, but like maybe for the most part, things haven't really changed. Like Leeway has again been under this contract. Within maybe 10 generations, nothing has changed, which isn't a lot. But let's just say since Conria fell, every other nation has ruled in a status quo and so most are content to live but not dream no one dreams about taking down the system except for a revolution boy in inazuma nobody dreams about freeing the people from sumeru except for again there's probably some rebels that are trying to get people to stop so I think that that's an interesting thing to think about is that most people are content just continuing on with their lives. And maybe that's what bothered our, our sibling. Maybe that's what really bothered our sibling and why our sibling thinks that the world needs to change. But with our help, people can start to fight back. So maybe what our sibling saw was a world full of people who are complacent to these gods and have no will to fight back. 
But within our journey, we see people fighting back all the time. So maybe that's why, like, our brother thinks that we'll get to the end of our journey and we'll see, like, uh, you know, groups of pitiful people who never fight back and never try to change the status quo. But the reason why that things are different when we get involved is because we do help people fight back. That's probably going to be, if I had to guess, it's hard not having done Inazuma, but just based off of things that they've said about Inazuma and the fact that there is a rebellion and there is a other right military versus the people like it, it sounds like that maybe our brother's beef was every single nation all of the people are just complicit and they just let the gods do these things because they they it's in exchange right contracts in exchange for good lives or military rule in exchange for good lives or ignorance in exchange for good lives and so at the end of the day the sibling whether you're playing again as the boy or the girl the sibling who's not you <laughs> probably got to the end of this and was like yeah this place sucks these places just kind of suck you know, no one fights back. Nobody dreams of a better place without these gods. But the reason why we're different is because in our timeline, people do fight back. And maybe our sibling just wasn't helping people. Like, our sibling is helping people fight back, but not the people. They don't think regular people in all these other nations have the will to fight. And so that's why they're going, they're aligning themselves with Conria. They think that the Abyss Mages are the only people willing left to fight. But if our brother actually went through the worlds, I don't know. People seem a little bit willing to fight to me. So. But in the hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall. Yes. There are those who dream. Which is what I'm thinking, right? But. Some say a few. Conria did dare to dream and they got smited down because they did too much. <laughs> Some say a few are chosen and the rest uh, are dregs, but I say we humans have our humanity. See, and I think that is about the visions, again, right? It's that humans can exist without gods. ...are chosen and the rest are dregs, but I say we humans have our humanity. Humans are special for being human regardless of whether they have a vision. A power from beyond. See, a power from beyond is like... Is that us? Are we the power from beyond? Or like, is it just, you know, whatever they do to make the portals and stuff like that? Stuff that's not God given. He looks different, by the way. Like in this art, he doesn't, I don't know. Like there's something about him that like his eyes may be lighter. I don't know. Now, you who has set foot in this world. Yes. Your journey has reached its end, but one final door. So this is like Dane's Leaf giving a speech as we get to the end of the game. Like, we have seen all of this, but now that we're at the, yeah, his demon arm, right? Now that we're at the end of it. Way remains. What are you gonna do? Step forth, if you have understood the meaning of your journey. Defeat me, command me to step aside. Show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. Okay, this is what I don't quite, this is what I don't quite know. So what's confusing about this is that Dainsleith is against the Abyss Mages and against Lumen. But he's also saying, defeat me, command me to step aside, to show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. So is he talking about Lumen or is he talking about someone else? Like another person. And why would he have to defeat Dainsleaf? Because Dainsleaf has been nothing but helping us this entire time. So... I wonder if the her isn't actually talking about Lumen and it's talking about the god that attacked them. Guys, I'm cooking. I'm ready. Guys, okay, what if it, the her that they're talking about is the god at the beginning of the game? Command me to step aside and show me that you're worthier than I to rescue the person that struck you down in the first place. Like that you've gone through this entire journey and that instead of siding with your sister, despite that being the logical thing to do, you have seen that the gods in this world can be saved and that the gods can change because you have gone to every nation and you've changed the gods. So instead of, 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 of helping your sister protect the last unknown god at the beginning of the game and protect her, rescue her from Lumen. And that's the decision that we have to make. The decision is whether or not we agree with Lumen and that all of these people should die, like all these people, not all the people, but like the gods should be dismantled and all of them should go away. 
Or you can step in and save the god from the end of the game, or from the beginning of the game. The threads of all fate will be yours to reweave. Yes. Or Paimon. But I guess the, yeah, I guess Paimon's not here. I think that the point, whether it's Paimon or someone else, I think that the point will still stand. I think that the point still stands because the idea is just in general to choose between your sister or the gods. And because Paimon has such a, a dubious nature, it could be that Paimon is the god. Either way, basically, it, it doesn't need to be necessarily any particular person, but I think that the, the actual idea, you choose to side with Lumen or you choose to side with the gods, and that maybe Paimon's included with that, or you choose to side with the world. The only question is, like, why would Danesleaf... Stood the meaning of your why does Danesleaf think he could do better? Me. Command me to step aside. Show me that you are worthier than I to rest. It's just like, tell me I'm wrong. Like, tell me that you have the strength to be able to do this, I guess. Then, the threads of all fate will be yours to reweave. Hmm. I'm still a little concerned that what Danesleaf wants to do is that even though he's against the Abyss Mages, maybe he wants to take, like, it'd be weird because that's what the Fatui's doing, but what if Danesleaf wants all of the Gnosis so that he can go back in time and prevent the destruction of Conria and that he can save the world and stuff? So I wonder if, like, what he's saying, not that he betrayed Aether or anything, but it's more like you've collected all these things along the way. You have the power of all seven gods now. And so if you get this last thing, you'll basically become God. And I have all these things are all basically like become God. So tell me to step out of the way, right? And get out of your way. And afterward, you have the power to change what is going on, as opposed to me. Basically, I wonder if Danesleaf, I know what he said, I know he's from Conria, and Conria was like, we don't need the gods, but I wonder if as much as he doesn't need them, he is still plotting to overthrow them, or at least become part of them, if not just for the sole purpose of wanting to go back in time and save his people. Because I know it says of all fate will be yours to re-we- oh my god, re-weave, and that doesn't necessarily imply time travel, but to me it kind of does, like that there's some time fuckity walkity, and I can't necessarily explain why, but it just sounds like, like, you know how- Oh boy, I don't know what the anime is, but there was basically this anime where like you ascend to the top of this thing, not like a literal thing, but like you basically have to do these tasks and then if you're the one left standing at the end, you'll get to make a wish and that you can make a wish and like change the fabric of the entire world. Future Diaries does something like this. That's not what I'm thinking about, but yeah, I'm sort of wondering when they reach the end of this journey, for some reason, Danesleaf is like, you have all these things and I have all these things. And if I have all the things, my I want to go back in time and prevent my people from being destroyed. And so I want to make that wish like this wish that we can go back in time and change our fate. Whereas if you really understand the purpose of your journey, stop me and go go forth and I can I can trust you that you know what to do. I don't know, like it's kind of a weird, it's a weird thing to sort of explain, but basically that there's some sort of wish that can remake the world. Like Kingdom Hearts, you know, you get all of the, the lights and the darknesses clash and you get Kingdom Hearts and you can remake. See, this is what I don't understand. My memory has all been faded completely. Like what happened to you, bestie? I'll remember how much she too loved the, these flowers, which see, that's the confusing part is that if it's about Paimon, that means that Paimon, well, but Paimon doesn't seem to remember certain things. Maybe, maybe, mm, that's interesting. See, cause I was gonna say that this line doesn't make a lot of sense if it's not Paimon. This makes a bit more sense if it's Lumen. However, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's why, like, maybe the longer that Danesleaf is alive, the more he starts to forget. Like, you go further into Castle Oblivion and you start to not remember anymore. But I always remember how much she too loved these flowers. And that's why Paimon is also sometimes doesn't remember things or seems a little sus. So yeah, there was a lot of interaction 
interesting things in here. But I feel like that what we're coming to is that you get the to the end of your journey and you have to make a wish or a choice. And that wish could be to go back to the very beginning and like change the world. Like this, this there will be this power to change the Think whole completely. world. And but I will you need to prove to Dainsleep that you actually deserve it compared sucks. to him. That's a lot. There's a lot going on here. I don't think that we can mine anything out of this. You know, I don't think we can cook everything else because it's so vague that it could be Paimon or it could be Lumin. If it is about Lumin, I think it makes sense in terms of like their history, that they were traveling partners together. But if it's about Paimon, that makes sense for my Paimon Dainsleaf theory, because I had a theory like that. I mean, Lumen also has flowers in her hair that look like the flowers that are in the trailer though. So I, I wonder if it is maybe more likely, like where is the flower field? Hold on, these? Yeah, like these are the same flowers that she has in her hair. And like, it seems like that the flower field is either gone or maybe he's standing in it. So I do think that it may point more away from Paimon and then to Lumin. So I wonder if like, what if Lumin got to go to the end of her journey and she got to make a wish? right and she wished for something and that wish had consequences so now she's trying to go like i don't know like that wish just yeah it just had consequences bestie and so now that we're at the end maybe maybe the thing is, is that we can either make a wish to go home or a wish to stay here which means that we have to put this place over our own selfishness and we have to decide whether or not these people are worth say uh staying or like, you know, if these people are worth staying for or if we want to leave and there's... Defeat me is such a confusing thing. It's such a confusing thing to say because then it puts us against Dainsleaf. We've only watched two te teasers and it's been an hour. Oh, good Lord, I'm gonna hate myself. When I have to edit this, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Anyway, I guess we'll just, okay. This is like, this is where we can not be so stressed. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. So it's not the English voices, which is fine. Okay, so we know about Fischl. Like, we know stuff about Fischl. Okay. Okay. Because none of this is real, right? Like, it's all in her head. That's what we know about Fischl, I think. Is that she thinks... Or maybe she doesn't actually think it, but maybe she just says that she is. Okay. Damn, so she's just lying. She's just going around telling lies. Yeah, see, so her actual name is Amy. Okay, yeah, so we kind of knew that about Fischl. But she seems to know that she is Amy. So I guess she's just a little kid playing pretend and she's not actually delusional. Is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. I mean, that's all I'm getting. I get nothing else. I mean, we've seen these characters before, right? So... One millennium ago. Did I see this in the game? Fell at last I, this the looked familiar. That looked familiar. The defender of the South banished tyranny from the city gates. Oh. The West spread her wings and took her rightful place. Oh. The shit. wanderer in the north settled with the woven race. Is this all about monsters? Yeah, grew, yeah, it's the temples. They flew. But much was to be done to build In the Dane's Leaf the quest, they talk about that, right? Like you have the wolf and Dom and the, the this. Who is that? Each one in turn. First their leader, the West Wind, though he found himself spurned. Oh! The Lion Fang Knight was less than impressed. I have no time to join you in sing, dance, and jest, for you see to these three while I handle the rest. Okay. Right. Next, did he track down okay, hold on. We do need to pause. So yeah, so there's one human, which is the ruler of Mondstadt, which is somebody that we've never seen, I guess, because they just, I don't know, like they're just never around. Like they went out for milk and they never came back, right? Um. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, I thought that they said he. Anyway, so she's just like, I have no time. You deal with the other ones. Asked him to tame his most unbridled of souls. I like Venti's little rhyming. The wolf leader growled. He would not be contained. Do not lecture me, Bard, you who are the least restrained. Oh. 
So the animal god implored the friend he'd known for I just realized Venti has the same flowers on his shit too! And freedom could once more be birthed. As our sister! The dragon and I'm a little worried. God friend too long. He would not share the work, but dictate it through song. Okay! Do some real work, Barbados. Okay! <laughs> sure, oh, okay, but you guys are saying so Lady Vanessa's not real anymore? She's dead? You guys know that guy? That, like, Gene has a boss, and he just isn't around? I don't know. Is that, like, D. Luke's, like, parentage, though? Like, the redhead lady? Because that would be kind of funky fresh. That'd be fun. Who is this? Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. Okay. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the kingdom of darkness. Sure! <laughs> the first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the pearl. Oh. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. Oh. She now believed that she was the queen of the kingdom of darkness. Oh no! Is this about our sister? Like, was the pearl supposed to be the thing in the robot from the Dane's Leaf quest? I don't know. Like, I am just thinking. But like, the thing the relic was holding. The second crowned heir has oh, already no! taken up the path where the That's first us! had stumbled. This is the story of your oh, journey. Oh no! Of your tale. So our sister told. got tricked? That's not good! Wait, 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 wait. We cannot just we cannot just go over that. Like, we're talking about completely different Once, things here. There was a glorious kingdom Shit. established. See, that's why I'm thinking that we're the descendants of the gods. I know that they called us outlanders or whatever, but like I just I really just think that like we're demigods or something. Like I think that we're their children and that we were sent here to they clean up the, the mess. From that kingdom came a crowned heir. Cause you have this person. Who, strangely enough, has, like, Paimon colors. That color of the brass is the His same color as Paimon. From that kingdom came a crown... Like, this is Paimon's color. Paimon has, like, her decoration is that same color. But, like, this person's hair is also blue. So there's, like, you know, obviously some artistic liberties have been taken, maybe. But I'm thinking, right? Like, maybe the heavens. Can you be an outlander and be from the heavens? Because I don't see why not. I don't see why you can't both be an outlander and the child of gods. Right? Air. Tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl. Oh, see? And I had a theory, right? That our sibling was sent here to do this thing by her parents and that she didn't tell Aether like that the traveler was never told why they came to this world and only the sibling was told right and so that's why our sibling is evil because our parents told them to come down here and get the thing so now I'm a little suspicious right first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the pearl see so I wonder too maybe this wasn't the thing that the relic was holding like the orb maybe this was like some whole different thing and that this is supposed to represent conria and so that our sibling was sent here by their parents to look for whatever and that this is all a representation of you know the pearl was there's some weird heterochromia happening actually right there why would they do that why would one eye why would one eye be red and the other eye be purple does anybody have eyes like that right now? Sussy, sussy. Okay. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. Okay. So I wonder, like, is she, if this is, like, literal in the sense that our sister forgot what she was doing? Well, not actually forgot. I don't think that our sister truly forgot. I think that, like, she was radicalized. I think that in the case that if her parents came, like, if her parents sent her down here to do something, I don't think that she was actually tainted, per se, but that she was, like, radicalized against her parents, her parents being the gods. That she was the queen I don't think the that she's actually been memory wiped or anything. Like, I don't think that she's actually been 
memory wipe she does her parents like that was my theory from the last stream is that our parents are like part of the gods and that's why we're still an outlander because we still never lived here we still we lived somewhere else in heaven right or something and that our sibling came down here to do something and after that, they realized, wait a minute, that's not right. Our parents suck. And so that's what she's doing right now. So maybe it's not that she literally has been brainwashed, but they just say that she has been brainwashed. But take heart. A second crowned heir has already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. Which is the sibling. This is the story of So the are we the baddies? Then I feel like that we're all we circled all the way back to that we are the problem and that we are the bad guys because it's basically saying like where your sister didn't do the thing that we wanted her to do you're going to do it should we do the thing that they wanted us to do in the first place because maybe we shouldn't do the thing that they want us to do maybe the thing that they want us to do is bad what if she was told to do something that was like morally wrong and that she just rejected the idea that she was going to do something wrong and now it's like, oh, well, your sister's evil and you have to fight against her darkness, but Our journey. what if we're the bad person? What if us time. going on the journey is still part of the problem? There's a book in the game that relates to this? Oh man, I gotta read. I wanna know how one person, like, do we know anything about the people that wrote this game or like the one person? Like, is this just that like a Tetsuya, Tetsuya Nomura who like, like his brain is just so big or is there like a team? Like, how do they, how do they know? Like, how do they know to keep track of all this? Hey, Traveler, oh. I'll let you in on a little secret. Yeah, yeah sure, Clee. monsters that come out at night in Mondstadt? I mean, there's monsters all the time. Shh, be quiet. I'll tell you everything, but you can't tell nobody. Okay. After everyone is tucked up cozy in their beds for the night, monsters pretending to be the Knights of Valonius come out to trick people. What? You even hear their footsteps from inside the confinement. What do you mean, bestie? And so, boom! I blasted the door open to defend Monster from the monsters. Y sure? The Master Gene who grabbed me and dragged me away was really scary. Scary like the real Master Gene, not like some monsters. So strange. Anywho, you mustn't tell a soul. What? Kai is the one who told me the secret about the monsters. What? She didn't tell nobody else but me. Oh, Kaya. Coaxing Klee into escaping from solitary confinement, it seems. What? Why would you put a child? Perhaps we've made the child's studies a little too imaginative. Why would you put a child in solitary confinement? I don't understand. I do not understand. So I get it. What? So they're saying that Kaya told her that Lisa and Jean are not real in the night, I guess. And that Kaya, like, it's not true. Oh, they put her in solitary confinement? What do you mean? What, is, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this information? So it seems like that. Oh, it's her timeout room? Oh, I see. So then Kaya told her, the people that put you in the confinement room are monsters. It's not the real Jean and Lisa, so you have to fight back. And she's like, okay, because she's a kid. And so he basically just pulled a prank on them. Well, what am I supposed to? I don't think we've ever met Klee in the story. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? Uh. Okay. Relax. I have Who is this? to attend to as well. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Even if one day we can't continue business here, we can make it far away with this. Okay. But master, what about the debt? Oh. Oh yes, I'm here to collect that. Child? What are you doing? <laughs> Quick, guards! Protect the master! Oh! No matter what it is, oh, his child being sexy! Oh! Is that not the law of the god oh. of contracts in Leo? Okay! Fatui! You can't just barge into I, a private I, I residence! I think he can! Guards! Show him how we treat unwelcome guests uh -oh. at Yan Shang Tea House! <laughs> not much for adversaries. Uh oh! Well, I could always use a bit of exercise. Oh! See, that reminds me of like. Again, the weapons that that other guy had in the Dane's Leaf quest, but anyway. I never would have thought oh. that an ordinary person had a sigil of permission in their possession. Oh. It's been years since anyone has seen one of these. Oh. Your job is debt collection. Yet you failed oh. to check what treasures he possessed that Who you might Who is that? Collect. Apologies, a dereliction. Some man? Enough. Let's go. Oh. Yes. Okay, child. Okay. I don't know. That was pretty... I, I have nothing. I mean, I guess that was just him in the leeway arc but like
like, yeah, I was like, who's this, who's this sexy person talking? <laughs> and it was child. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's what he's been doing. This is me, fairy lady at Wong Shung Funeral Parlor. Oh. No one of importance. But yeah, I guess then some of these may be not irrelevant to me, but I Mr. know about Shung these Lee. now because... This Noctilucus jade is We have small, seen these things. shade of translucent blue. It would be a shame not to buy it. Yes, sir. Well, he says that Hasting about everything. Will Aster to wet glaze before it is fired in the kiln? Fascinating. Oh. The flower turns to ash, but its shape is forever retained. See, there's all Such flowers. There's flowers in every existence. fucking trailer thingy. This is itself hard to gather. It must have taken This is just Zong Lee spending his money. Pieces so alike. We should buy like, We should buy this. We should buy this. A fine Noctilucus jade. Artists in porcelain and a pair of core yep. lapis and a wind wheel aster as a gift for the fairy lady. Yes, he even got oh, me a gift. Oh, he's Mr. nice. Mr. Zhongli truly is an amazing person. Does he just take when it? When is cooking, it would be oh. far more appealing to go to Wan Min restaurant as opposed to Sinue kiosk or Lioli pavilion. Okay. I'm fine with anything so oh. long as it's good. Wait, what? But do they only have chopsticks? They had dinner? Am I forgetting something? Chopsticks, if you are to truly appreciate Leo S. gastronomy. Oh. Mr. Zoe, I don't remember nice this. On the menu today. This is Why? Like instead of the salt and pepper tofu? We'll have both. Oh, yeah. And these. And what a Xiong big Xiong spender. Customs. We gave Xiong Ling a tip oh. for her amazing new dish. Mr. Xiong Li values friendly oh, ties. Oh, well, that's nice. And is generous in word and deed. Well. The Wang Xiong Funeral Parlor often foots the cost of his oh. generosity. Oh shit! But thankfully, oh. the Northland Bank is bearing this particular bill. Good. Welcome. Come in. Excluding this pair of hairpins, everything else is for oh. sale. Oh. They're not for sale. Yeah. Why not? not? He just wants to buy everything. These are heirlooms pawned by a poor fellow to scrounge together money for his wife's oh, medication. No! I must hang on to them for I hope he gives the them back. That'd be a, that'd oh. be nice. Clear this man's debt. Oh. And took this pair of hairpins, seeking to return them to their own. Oh, that's on the side. nice. Only Please so help nice. Please these expenses in our accounts, would you? Damn. I will be sure. Money to laundering. <laughs> Please money launder for me, <laughs> secretary. <laughs> That makes him likable, though. Mr. Shongli. Yeah, I know. There's no getting away from him at all. That was good. That was funny. I like that one. But yeah, he was having lunch with child. Why? Was that after he faked his death or before? Like, you know what I mean? Like, alchemy is a mysterious Albedo. art that around all living things. In the study of life. Oh, Sucrose is there. The I do painting. ship them. Yes. You certainly make wonderful. I think that they're cute together. Yes, embezzle the money is what I meant. They had lunch together during the Archon quest? I forgot, Bestie. Wait a minute, what are you within. doing? Thou art reborn. Oh! Shit! Do you understand Did now? he just create life? Full Metal Alchemist? <gasps> oh no! See, Albedo's powered by one of those things! Next, I will pay oh no! Oh no, Albedo, Albedo I'm sorry! Feature, the intricate patterns, and even its sheen. Oh! But the rest of the V-Shop is quite ordinary. Okay. And requires but a few quick brush strokes. Voila. Arise. Oh, Lifeless like, dust. Yeah, like this is crazy. What the heck? He can just create life. Excuse me, Mr. Albedo, but I fear creating such creatures may no, sit outside. No, Albedo is the creature. He is the creature. He is the creature. No. Is that so? <laughs> just That's why he thinks it's so funny. He's like, is that so? That your interest, yet completely no. indifferent towards anything otherwise. Oh, no. Your swing and interest this time didn't even leave me long enough to finish your painting. Oh. Damn, he just stopped. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh no, see? He's like half finished creature. Oh, sorry, guys. Half finished creatures are walking around. What the hell? Oh my god, I can't believe it. What the heck? This is so funny. No, Alvino, no. Alvino, what are you doing? That's not good. I, he's definitely one of these, though. Can I look at this again? Dust of the universe and that within. How are the gods okay with this? How are they okay with Thou him just creating born. life? What do you mean? Do you understand now, Sucrose? No! How are you allowed to do this? Who gave you permission? I totally forgot that this was like. I mean, I guess I never remembered. I don't know if they've ever talked about this, but like, wait a minute. So maybe our, maybe the gods aren't even mad about like the things I thought they were mad about. I didn't know that people could go around creating life. Maybe that's what they were mad about in Conria. You know, 
because this isn't gods, is it? Or is this man-made? Oh, albedo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, the alchemy. Is alchemy by the gods or is alchemy, like, its own situation? You met the gods. They aren't omniscient. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's true. So they just don't know? They just don't know about this? I feel like the, like, albedo could... I mean, I get... You know what? Danesleaf did say that, though. Danesleaf said, like, there are people outside of the gods purview, right, that dare to dream. So, oh, sussy sussy. I don't know about that. Oh, Albedo, no. Gone, you. The night scenes of Leela, the lantern light of centuries. Only I know that this rising star mm. has come far in the millennium past. Only I remember oh. the hours at which dew forms on the glazed lilies and disappears again. 106,327 oh. heartbeats. The okay. time that has passed since I last knew rest. Oh, Jesus! Packing up the stalls, closing up the pavilion. Uh, how long is that? One can almost hear the street lights going out. It is as it is night after night. Oh. Ever so distant from me. The night of Leah. Over. Okay. Now that you know the secrets of the night. What? Would you I don't know anything. What do you mean? Overtime? Wait. What? No way. Gun you. I don't think I, I got you. I don't know if I understand. 20 hours. There were no secrets. There was just working. You were just working, bestie. I guess that's what she's saying is that she's up all night. Nobody knows the night like I do. So like she literally like she meant it. Oh, dear. What's going to be interesting is when we start to see characters I don't know. Oh, Will of the Wisps. <laughs> Give you a fright? Okay. Honestly, who comes to Wuhong Hill in the middle of the night? I don't Do know. Oh. Come with me. I'm Hu Tao Wang Shen. I feel like I've never seen her before. Um, but I probably am wrong. I do I know. Help you cross over the hill, not cross into There the is a song. Huh? A fan made Hu Tao and song that I really like. But well, because they want to be sealies when they grow up. Y is that something you can do? <laughs> Though that walking encyclopedia Zhongli would no doubt have a completely different explanation. Oh. Okay, you should be safe from here. Next time, don't go running around in dangerous places. Okay. Of course, if you really insist on adventuring, then be my guest. Adventures are our VIP clients. Oh my there. god, because I always get them both killed. Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh, I like that. Do you know the travel buddy? Oh. We're having a sale. Second Dane's class, half price. Dane's Leaf can't die, he's immortal. That was cute, that was cute. Yeah, I like the fan song, the one by Will Stenson, and I like, I like, um, like, adventurers always get, like, you know, adventurers are our top clients because they always get themselves killed. I wrote something like that in my fanfic recently. Like, Fox has kind of a similar line like that. Like, oh yeah, like, Huntsman die. <laughs> Huntsman live to die. Like, so not exactly like that, but it was the same vibe as in, like, oh yeah, like, funerals love us. Yeah, she's cute. Okay, now I haven't seen her. Like Thanks these characters. The with me. To think all the other patrons oh. are actually avoiding me. <laughs> oh dear. I'll remember this. Okay. <sighs> Seriously. They cared that much about oh, my lineage. Discrimination? Even if I were out for vengeance, oh. they'd have to wait their turn. Oh dear. What did you do, Eula? The Goonhilder clan. Oh. The Roggenvinder clan. Oh! And the Lawrence clan. Are, Are these clans supposed to represent, again, the... Stats history. You know, the dragon and the... the... Among them, the Lawrence clan became blinded by oh. their desires, plunging Mondstadt into a dark era under the aristocracy's Well, that's oppression. not good. In time, Lady Vanessa... Oh, Vanessa! Through the aristocracy and established the Knights oh, of the Bonus, military. the Lawrence clan quickly fell into obscurity. Over the next thousand years, their flame of vengeance continued to flicker and burn. Oh. But never again did it ignite. So they think Eula's out to get them? Perhaps the finishing blow to the Lawrence clan was 
She who is known as the Spindle. Oh, I see. Most gifted descendant of the Lawrence clan. So joining the she Knights fucked them Venus. over, basically. She was like, nope, Although I'm going to join the Knights too. Upon her lips, yeah. She has proved time and again that she is a kind hearted and honorable ally. So she hey. went against her parents. When a noble woman is speaking, you are to lower your drink and look her directly are we, in the eyes. Are we looking at her boobs? What is mm -hmm. happening? What do they mean by that? Like, look her in the eye. Like, are we staring at her chest? <laughs> oh, bestie. I bet it's that Sneeze into your elbow. Behind my back again. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, yeah. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. So basically, she went against her parents and she decided to be a knight instead. Okay. Yula, Yula, oh my god, Yula, Diluc, and Jean's family clans. Yeah, so like, they established the knights and um, she, like, her parents were like, you're our hope to get back at those people. And she was like, no, I don't think I will. Okay, now we're getting into the good shit. Oh, about like, Mado, pirate mode, please. The sound of waves upon the shore and the rustle of leaves. Ooh. Forest, they are not so dissimilar. <laughs> Kazuha. Kazuha. I hope you don't think I risked taking you in. Just oh, it's Beto. Yeah, it's Beto. But we ought not waste the moonlight. Oh. Not before a big battle. So they're working together. So this is Beto's ship. Though some sake would make this better still. Oh. A big battle, you say? Mmm. Yes. Uh oh. The scent on the wind is the same as on that night. The scent of danger. So she's like defending <laughs> him, <laughs> like harboring revolutionaries. Just a breath away until I reached the port. Oh. Seems I couldn't. So he was running after. away from home. Oh Vision shit. Vision hunt? No! Oh no! Was I right then about Inazuma? Oh no! They're taking people's visions. That's not good. Oh no! A maple leaf. Oh, uh, he killed those people? That's not nice, Kazuha. You can't kill people just because they come after you. I don't know if I you're allowed to kill the sails, them. Beto. The storm is coming. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So he ran away from Inazuma trying to, like, get all the visions. That's not good. Inazuma's law sounds a lot like... Like, that's what I thought was going to be going on kind of with the Farina thing, but it was self-defense. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, you didn't need to murder them. <laughs> they were still people. Zongli mentioned that at the end of Leeway. Oh, I forgot. Like, I had that information in my head, and I didn't remember whether or not it was a theory or just, like, a fact. You know what I mean? The Yashiro Commission's duty is to assist shrine maidens with sacred matters. Okay. And to manage distinguished artists of all kinds. Right. Because of my upbringing, ever since I was a child, I've been studying etiquette. Painting and calligraphy. Okay. Tea ceremony. And the art She's of the, the one who has a sibling, right? It's the Shirasaki Hibikimi. Oh? Meeting a foreign envoy, Miss Kamisato? Always working hard, I see. Oh. You as well. Okay. Ooh, a little mask. What is this? Ah, why these are for the coming festival. Preparations are already in full swing. I see. She seems sad about that. It's good to be home. I can finally put all my etiquette aside for a moment. Okay. Oh, a pair of masks. When did you purchase these? But as eldest daughter of the clan, huh? The festivals? Well, I oh, is she not allowed? Do a festival? Oh. <sighs> oh. All right. If we go, oh, she's not allowed. Oh, well, I guess okay? she has to act proper. She just can't act like a normal person. Hot box by the candle? Yeah, maybe. The I just need some fresh air. Future. 
the duties oh, of the Yashin hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Tally, your, your credit card? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't even the know. Clan's future. I have it. I do not have the it memorized. The Yashiro Commission. Oh, man, I did the same thing again. I started talking over the dialogue. Fuck. Okay. The Kamisato clan's future. The duties of the Yashiro Commission. Okay. Yes. My brother should not bear these burdens alone. Right. Oh, okay. So this is like the, the thing that I was literally just talking about. We are now seeing this the thing. Is what has led me to this duel. Mmm. Check. Mm. When the Tsubaki is in season, I always have the same dream. Okay. My mother is with me. And I am at peace. Oh. Maybe somewhere deep down inside, the carefree days of family time have not ended Aww. for me. Assuming the mom is now dead, based on how she talks to her, but... The justice flowers wither. I, too, must awaken from my dream. Oh, Like, is it just them two against the world trying to preserve this clan? You know? The Kamisato art of Tachijutsu, still like the morning dew. Swift like lightning. Oh, is this how she got her vision for the first time? Because that would be fun. Because it doesn't even look like she realized that the cryo was happening. Something stirs within me. Perhaps the echo of a fond dream. Oh. But there it stays, day after day. Yeah, see? Shit! Oh, that's cool. Pushing me to overcome. I'm tempering my blade. Ooh, this is cool. That was the first time I bested brother in a duel. Yeah! It was also the moment that the Shirasagi Himegimi was born. Wait, but what does that mean? What does that mean? It's showtime, Ayaka. Mmm. The fireworks have started. Everyone's waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> it was your wish to take over this side of things, if yeah, I Yeah, like, because she beat her brother sorry, in the duel, does that mean that, like, she's, like, head of the family now, even though she's younger than him? We pray to our god. May all our dreams endure forever. Okay. Narukami Island. Let the festival begin. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, like it kind of, I wonder then if it was like her brother was supposed to be in charge and then she fought him and that she proved, not to say they both can't do the duties because it seems like that maybe they're both doing it, but like that maybe she was trying to prove that she could at least take some of the responsibility is kind of what I'm getting. And then she got her vision while she was fighting him. Not necessarily for succession, because he did say like, you want to take care of this side of things. So it sounds like he takes care of other things, but instead of just being like his little sister and her getting to do whatever, whatever she wants, it kind of sounds like she was proving herself to at least take some of the responsibility on. So the island must be Inazuma because, like, what is, the, you know, this place? What makes you ask that? Oh, <laughs> Toma put you up to this. We have not met Toma yet. Hmm, that's a tough one. Why don't you see what everyone else thinks? The best thing about summer on Naruto. Oh, see, in the electro symbol on all their weapons, I'm getting a little nervous, and on the temple, I don't know. I think we all know this one. It isn't a thing at all. <laughs> oh, it's like the people. Right. Summer just wouldn't be the same without her. Oh. <laughs> Who else could it be? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> That's right. 
The best thing about summer on Narukami Island. Oh. She's the best thing on the island. Is that what they're saying? Like she's in charge of this? Oh yeah, because it's the queen of summer. Because she's in charge of the fireworks. But like, how long has she been alive to do that? Is this recently? Okay, so I guess, yeah, she's in charge of the fireworks. I feel like we talked about that during Genshin Guessing now that I think about it. Okay, here we go. Ride in Shogun, please. <laughs> oh, shit. Who are you people? Oh, no. No, they're dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go back. We need to look deeper. Because they're all animals. Like, I don't know what she is, but like he has like, he has a mask and then she has the wolf stuff. Hold on. Because, okay, she's fighting something. I got that. But there were animals in the other picture. Oh shit, and they're all dying. Fuck. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on though. I saw something there. That's what I saw. Okay, wait. Oh no. So she turned evil. She was possessed. That's not good. And then she had to fight her friends. Why? What were they possessed by? That's not good. It looks almost like the snake thing. Like the heterochromia from the snake situation. <laughs> oh no. And it was just her and, and this and this white haired lesbian left over. That's not good. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. Like there's a fox. There's a, oh wait, but isn't this bird? Wasn't this bird in leeway? I guess a, a different crane. I guess. Oh, okay. But then it was just her alone. What happened? Where did they go? Oh dear. Oh no! See, it's like my other self. Like there's me as the Raiden Shogun, but then there's the other me that I used to be before. Oh no! This is so fucked up! Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no! That's not good! Yeah. Oh shit! What is, what is happening? I mean, yeah, all your friends being murdered would do something to somebody. Yeah, the pyrovision. Do we even- I don't think the Traveler has a pyro vision. Oh shit, there was something. Sorry. Toma, Paimon! <sighs> what is this place? I don't know! What do you mean? I said the exact same thing when I watched this. What do you mean? What did you say? Okay, hold on. We have to go back. There's no- there's no two ways around it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe! But see, she's the only person here that's not an animal, which is strange. What I was gonna say is that like a group of kids are all, they all are prepped to be the next Raiden Shogun, but only one of them can live. And so they do like some sort of game to the death and they are forced to fight each other. And they didn't know at first that they would be forced to fight each other. But, like, they had no choice. So they were all raised for the potential of being the Shogun, but only one could win. And so she had to kill her friends? Maybe? And she had no choice? Like, was it worth it? That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting, is that they may have all been, maybe like this place is also split into four places, like the island is one place and then there are three other places, kind of like family clans, and that each clan has to sacrifice up their own child. Yeah, wait, see, at the back of her neck, she has a little mark now. So like, is she marked then by the, the electro person in that case, right? I don't know if we would have seen another shot where like it wasn't, you know? So, yeah, she's like marked by the Shogun now. That's crazy. Oh dear. But yeah, I don't know if there would have been another shot where she didn't have that on her, the back of her neck. But like, I'd be pissed too if I had to kill all my friends. But okay, I, what I don't understand is what the fuck is this? What is happening with it? Wait, 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 wait Pyro? We don't have Pyro, do we? Uh, we only have Animo and Geo. But like, whose vision is this? It's not ours. Oh dear. See, 
now she's all alone, like at the top of the mountain. That like the of succession that they all fought for. Toma, Paimon. <sighs> what is this place? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know who Toma is, but maybe it's his vision that they took that and Toma's vision. But yeah, I'm thinking that those were her friends, maybe, and that they all died. Hey, have you heard? She's the new divine priestess. Who? Oh. Whoa, but she's so young. Oh! Do you think she can really handle it? That's, uh, Kaga- Kaga- not Kagami. Nope, that's Miraculous Ladybug. Um, but, Remember yes, Kokumi. Kokumi. As the divine priestess, the whole of Watatsumi Island will be in See, wait! See, there's multiple islands. Wait, wait, wait. See, now we're cooking. So there's multiple islands, right? What if there was a representative from each island originally? And that, that'd be fucked up. If that, there were four islands offered up a child to be the Raiden Shogun, and they all had to kill each other. Though you may not be so for such a role from today onward you must strive to meet the hopes of the people okay you're right governing is not my forte governing okay my true skills lie in the art of war focused oh. on the single purpose of <laughs> okay our aim is to hit the enemy hard oh my god oh well that's toma right in this battle Gobi's and Gorgasia platoons will be decoys. If what? successful, we will besiege them. Otherwise, Swordfish platoon will Who are we fighting? burn their provisions. This is not good. Oh no. Shit! Why are we fighting? Can we not all just get along? What that's me island? No. I'm far from it. Oh. War is chaos. And yet okay. I see the method to the madness. No, I don't want you to do war crimes! Kokomi, no! How can I know what their hearts desire? M ask them! I don't know! <laughs> ask the people that Please you're ruling! Me a shrine some time. Oh no. I, wish to talk. I feel like, well, what if, like, I don't know. Like, what if they were all shrine people at the beginning? Like, you know, the Raiden and, and then three other people were all shrine people. And then maybe, maybe they all just what? fight a war for fun. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they just all fight a war and then whoever wins the war, they get to be the Raiden Shogun. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Thus, the Shogun had deemed the Oni dangerous. Okay. And dispatched its samurai to subdue them. <laughs> After a fierce battle, the samurai defeated the violent Oni. Okay. Then... Wait, is this the right script? I didn't know that Ito did like theater or well, something. Anyway, in the end, humans and Oni overcame their differences. Uh, and they all lived happily ever after. I don't know about that. Oh, what a circus. <laughs> now that's what I call a good Oh, show. he's cute! Oh, I didn't know that he, like, yeah, did the boss. theater things. The gang rules. Oh, well, they're a gang, but they're a theater troupe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know he's voiced by Ryuji. He's cute. Uh-oh. The blonde guy. My lord, look backstage. Uh-oh, that's yes, not good. Most entertaining. Pity that the Tenryu Commission has arrived. What does that mean? Oh, no! <laughs> oh no, they're getting arrested! Uh-oh, they're being silenced. You know what? He has the same red hair as the other guy on the boat does, like kind of the white with the red streak. I wonder if they're also related. Oh no. I feel like that we talked about this in Genshin guessing. Oh no! This is a girl who is told you before. Be not complacent. Oh. The ropes are to be worn even while you sleep. Oh, jeez. Yes. Master. <sighs> Rest, child. Oh no. To train today. Yeah, this was the girl that like her father tried to sacrifice her or whatever. I think that happened. Oh, see, and if the butterflies are like spirits or sealy or something, Her eyes are really pretty. Like just the rainbow, like iridescent. Oh no! You are a curse. 
cursed child no! and shall oh, never no! have contact with anyone else. Attention, right? Oh, you are. He still doesn't want to meet us. Then, um, maybe. So we we, we passed her by and we didn't even know. Like, can no one see her? Is that the thing? We haven't met her, right? But like, what if no one? She's cursed that no human being can see her. So we just walked right past and we never knew. Oh dear. Why do I feel like the standard of writing is going down by the day? I mean, nobody knows how to spell. Are my editors I suppose. doing their jobs? Oh, no. <laughs> huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. I won't be bored out of my mind tonight after all. Oh, is somebody writing some smut? What's going on? <laughs> this is what it's giving me, like, erotica publishing? What is happening? Oh. Ah, food. Oh, looks so good. I'm hungry. Some cooking skills, huh? Ah, oh, I'm mm. hungry. The fried tofu is cooked to perfection, tender and juicy. The kushikatsu are freshly made, and the taste is oh, to my liking. She's cute. I like her. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. Okay. Is this just thing that she likes? She is this world's best editor. Oh. Oh. She's a crafty far Damn, from the world's me. best editor? Like, that is not something that usually people care about. Wait, see, they're all shrine maidens! Oh, no! See, I feel badly. Like, I feel like something is wrong. Oh. Well, that's not good. Like, she's a shrine maiden and Kokomi is a shrine maiden. Like, a few hundred years on, and the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides is all grown. A hundred! Hundreds! Hundreds! Wait, 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 hundreds! Oh, no! See, and, like, there was a fox one, right? There was the fox, and then there was the crane, and then there was a big bear. And what else was in the trailer? See, so she's the fox shrine, and maybe Kokomi is supposed to be the crane shrine, and there were two other animals, and now I don't remember. I don't know. I'm I'm cooking, right? And it was one from each. They were all shrine maidens together, and then they all had to kill each other, except for that guy who was a man, but. Mm -mm -mm. No good. Oh shit! Oh no, Kazuha and Toma, they're fighting! Oh. Oh no. We're just really gonna come to the to her house and beat her up? Oh dear me. Mmm. See, and like there's something going on. There's something because the fox girl was the last one standing. And that she's still like the last one stay. You know what I mean? Like the fox girl after all the other two people died, right? So yeah, I don't know what's going on with you two. Oh wait, that's us! That's a traveler! Not Toma. We're fighting Kazuha! That's not good! pause because there was like this it does seem like self and other self still though damn we just really i mean it it could have been sparring but then he disappeared and like he said people were chasing him i wonder if that was us but yeah i'm like see because there's a fox and like i don't know about the other two if they have like specific animals but i'm thinking that maybe at one point in time they were all, like, there's one animal for each shrine, and, like, then they fought each other, and only one of them could be the Raiden Shogun. That's not good. Oh, this is the brother now. The Kami Sato clan is just one of countless families in Inazuma. Okay. Hence, there is nothing exceptional about my work. I do what must be done to ensure peace and stability for my family. At home, I am the clan head, or brother. In public, I am commissioner. But ultimately, okay. I am just a normal person. Our first normal person in a long time, when I guess. Busy, I don't return home for days at a time. Oh! Once the present problems are resolved, there are still future dangers to prevent. Hmm. <laughs> the 
This may sound vainglorious, but I do what I do. Aww. So that everyone well, that's nice. has a home to go back to. Uh, most inconvenient. Time to find shelter. Surprise to run into you here, Ayato. <laughs> One second, I'll go start some tea. Oh, he's so Tomaru, cute. Come on, boy. Down you go. Hey, come on. You need to let me stand up. Imagine if he was like, Toma, you're under arrest. My goodness. Or something. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, Don't that's what he came. Yeah, me. he sounds like he's doing no, some sketchy actually, business. To make some plans for your birth. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> Oh, no, it seems like so they're all working it. together. Okay, so nothing uh, suspicious is going on. A chance to work and to live life. For the sake of these, people will draw their blade. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting so many bad vibes. I'm so scared, like, for Inazuma. Stop. Like, you know what I mean? I'm getting so many, like, oh, no. <laughs> There's so many bad things happening right now. Oh? Please. Have mercy. Uh oh I've told you everything we know. <sighs> Scram, it's not you I'm interested in. Oh! Is this Christina V? <laughs> By now she'll be oh, shit. with the treasure hoarders. Oh the treasure hoarders! With that group. Again. Keep her off our trail for a good oh shit! She just came, came out of nowhere. Death. There's no way she can keep tabs on us too. We'll have ample time to withdraw oh. before she gets back. Oh, who's there? She sounds so familiar. Where am I? Oh my oh, god. No. She's like an assassin or something. Like, she's Sorry. like ready. I know this isn't the farewell party you were hoping oh, for. Oh my god. You? Yeah, what she's a spy. Here? My intelligence network doesn't stop her network because I leave the city. I know all about oh, the Oh no! Been playing. But like who does she work for? I'm afraid the fact that I'm back means my patience has Oh ruined. man, she is girl boss. Along with it. Oh shit. I like the kind of like detective noir music. Christina V is Bennett and Z uh yeah, I know, I know, but I thought maybe I don't know. I thought maybe she got a third one maybe. Okay, Sumeru. Everything in this world runs in a loop. What? Like a time the loop? That's on you to find oh, out. Oh, shit. Oh, this is hype, though. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, oh. maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. In the end, I'm just the moon. What? The real sun is long gone. No, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. I need to watch that again, though. Hold on a second. Everything in this world runs in a loop. Oh, loop? Like the circle of life kind of loop? Or like a time loop? You know? I'm getting Sweet. worried. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. There's stuff going on back here. A uh, little moody guy. I think he's, is he the Archon? No, but you guys already said, you guys said that he's not the Archon because there's no men after the other two. After Venti and Zongli. Okay. You to find out. So no matter how strange men are a myth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Look on the surface. Maybe all they point to in the end is... Ah, like what is, like what does that mean? Small and simple secret. In the end, I'm just the moon. Okay, so it's her. The, real the sun is long is gone. gone. What does that mean? The, the real sun is long gone. Like, is it a metaphor? I, I know that this is sort of weird, but like how in Ruby, they say that there was not the sun, that there was only the moon, and then they broke the moon to build the sun, and that humanity would always make sure, oh, like, that we'll know that you came first, but then they forget that the moon came first and that they start to appreciate the man-made sun more. Is it like, sun is long gone, I'm just like a moon pretending that I'm the sun, you know? Like, I feel like that maybe that's sort of the vibe. It's like, I'm just a mirage, not a, even a mirage. 
but like the light of the because that's what the moon is right isn't the moon isn't the reason why the moon glows just because the sun is reflecting off of the surface of the moon right and so like it's not like the moon shining like it's not like the moon is iridescent like it's not like there is a light bulb in the moon the only reason why the moon shines is because of the sun isn't it so what she's saying is is that like the true the light is gone and like only the moon is left a a shadow of its former self as for the truth that's on you to find out i need to like the one more time everything in this world runs in a loop yeah sure as for the truth that's on you to find out. Okay. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Okay. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. Real sun is long gone. Oh dear. Like she wants him to find the truth then. And have people forgotten what the truth used to be? Is that what it is? And it's more simple than people think? What's going on here? She has a marking too. I don't think that that's like the cryo marking though. I don't know about that. I'm just Yeah. I don't know. There's something weird. There's something weird about this. The real sun is long gone. Like, did people, were they supposed to come back for her and they forgot about her or something? That's, I wonder if that could be it, is that people were not supposed to rely on her. I don't know, like people were not supposed to rely on her maybe and they forgot. That's all I got for Sumeru. I can't really think any higher than that. I mean, other than what I said, basically, other than what I said and then what I said before about the idea that like, oh, in Sumeru, they have like fake knowledge or something and people have stopped thinking for themselves. And so maybe she's even saying, I can't stop it anymore. Like, I can't stop it. People are forgetting the sun is long gone. I'm just the moon. I can't do anything about this. Then it's agreed. You ensure my personal safety, and I will share the research materials with you. Oh. All this fuss okay. just over some risky research. What are you so scared of? Listen, you don't understand. Who is the this? Academia makes no compromises. Oh. To ensure that knowledge is used correctly. Oh no. They have dedicated officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. Oh no, knowledge. Them. Using correctly, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like leader, hiding Mahal information. Is, the most fearsome among them. is that him then? Once he has you in his sights, he won't stop until uh -oh. he's hunted you down. Cut it out. You're giving me the creep with your ghost stories. Oh. Found you. Uh-huh. A kid? A kid? Oh no. That's him! Uh-oh. But your thugs have no idea how much I've sacrificed! Huh? Save your energy. It's a long oh shit! Back. He's like, you don't get to leave after you've seen what you you've seen. Words, oh no! Judgment day. That's not good. Oh no! So it seems like what's happening is, is that like this scholar man you ran away and I will share from the wherever. All this fuss just over some risky research. Mm -hmm. What are you so scared of? Listen, you oh don't no! Understand. The academia makes no compromises. Yeah. To ensure that knowledge is used correctly, oh, they have dedicated no. officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. Oh, that's bad. Matra. And their leader, the General Maha Matra, is the most fearsome among them. Oh, no. Once he has you in his sights, he won't stop until he's hunted you down. Yeah, that's not good. They're just like, you're not leaving. Cut it out. You're giving me the creep with your ghost stories. Found you. Uh huh. You're not allowed to leave. No one can. A kid? Oh no. Oh, no. That's him. <laughs> Those people are dead. <laughs> this poor man. That's not good. Your thugs have no idea 
how much I've sacrificed. You and your thugs? Well, wait. Save your energy. It's a long walk back. Oh, no! If you have any final words, save them for Judgment Day. Oh, no! Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. It seems like he's, like, taking them back if he is the person they're talking about. It's like, you don't get to leave! Not with the knowledge you have, you're not going anywhere. So their theater uh, is a home away bestie, from home. closed captions, bestie. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <sighs> How are the props? I did some fixes and touch-ups. Oh, they were great. Thank okay. you so much, Miss Nadia. Theater? <sighs> it's over. No, I don't have to hear Mr. Zubair yelling at me every day. What? What did you do? <laughs> oh, he's just a worry ward, is all. Don't lose heart. Oh, loved your they're cute. Huh? Uh, hey, get back here, Buster! Swoof. Aw, here you are. Who's a good doggy? Huh? Oh, there's always a dog, oh, come here. and it's always like oh. not a different dog. It's like this is the have same. Been eating some extra <laughs> like this is the same dog, really like a corgi, or whatever. Every day spent with the theater is a day oh. well pressed. Oh, well, that's nice. I think. It's your movement. No, You're still not. As long as it's true. Right. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying. Oh no. Oh no, this kind of sounds bad actually. Like, oh, it's bliss, but we're being abused by our puppet master man who forces us to keep working all the time until we're Without perfect. Oh. Efforts, this special place wouldn't exist. Okay. I'm worried about I you. I wish the show could last a little longer. Oh. What to make of that? I don't know if it's just like that they work really hard or that they're being forced to work and maybe she's not as happy like as she leads on unless when she's on the stage. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. Oh, I just had a dream. Yay. I dreamed it was my birthday. Like Frosty the Snowman? How he says happy the birthday troll, because he comes alive. And his retainers found me. Okay. Oh, Archon, we finally found so you. she is the Archon. The people can't wait to meet you. Well, that's the nice. The festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. She just bumped out of the ground. I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. Okay. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower. Oh carriage. no! The time loop! I'm gonna I just no, had a dream. No, that I dreamed is so it bad. was my birthday. No! They're stuck in the time loop! That's in not the good! Oh shit! Wait, wait, what? Containers found me. But that's us! Oh, Archon, we finally no! found you. People can't wait to meet But we'll break it this time, the right? The Sixers Festival began. Oh, they're cute! Bud! Finally, I got back on the carriage. Oh, no. waved goodbye. I hope we free her of the time loop, then! When I woke up... No! Wait! That's not good! Carriage. It was my birthday. What? In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, I don't like this! Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered oh, around no. me. Oh, no! She's, like, locked I, up! I got back on the carriage. And waved goodbye. Oh no! That's not good! She's trapped! When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It 
was. Oh my god! They just birthday. trap her worse and worse every year? Oh no! Happy birthday, Nahida. Oh no! That's so fucked up! Oh no! Ooh. She's giving Sumeru the knowledge. That's not good. They're just trapping the Archon so they can have the knowledge all the time, I guess, and she can't go anywhere. But why are they in a time loop? Like, why is she in a time loop? Or are they all in a time loop? Like, this place? I, I guess we'll have to see. I guess it doesn't make sense right now. If it's just history repeating itself or if it's an actual, like maybe what happens is, is that the traveler goes here and does get caught in the time loop and he starts to realize that he's caught in the time loop. But why would they keep Sumeru in a time loop? Unless like exchange to have all the knowledge, they can't move forward in time. And so they have to live the same day over and over again because in exchange for like these academics being able to get to know whatever they want all the time. Like they can't move time forward. They have to say the same or something. And like there's some memory fuckity wuckity situation going on. We're like, we're in Sumeru and we don't remember how terrible bad things are happening. Once more. I have lost my heart. It hurts. My skin feels like it's on fire. What? The? Wait a minute. Burning me alive. Isn't this? Turning me to ash. A different character? Hold you on. Mean, you wish you had a heart? Hmm. Have you ever heard this story before? There once was a puppet soldier. Oh. Yeah. His greatest wish was to be at the oh! Bell doll forever and yeah, ever. Yeah, this is a real story. But the soldier didn't have a heart. Oh. He didn't know where his feelings came from. Well, not this. One there day, is a steadfast His owner the didn't steadfast want him anymore, tin soldier and threw him away into a fire. This is the story. But even in the flames, but his eyes never left. He doesn't anymore. have a leg. The next day. Oh dear. The people found a tiny heart in the ashes left by the Yeah, fire. they kind of... They're changing, like, the real story. Probably ashes in the shape of a heart. Yeah. But that's not a real heart. Maybe. But what if hearts can be born from ashes? Oh, no! Oh, no! How dare you die like this? And break your promise to me. <laughs> what a joke. It's just ashes. Nothing left but Where ashes. Where was this? When did the what? If only I could have burned to death uh... in that fire too. Oh my God. No. Oh, In fact, that's not good. I wish I'd never been born oh, at all. Oh, no! I hope he doesn't... No, did someone grant him that wish? No! Is that son? Wait a minute. Never been born at all. Wait a minute. Somebody just came through in the robes. Is that really all you wish for? Uh-oh. What if they actually made that, like, a uh, contract? Oh, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We should go back to the very Once beginning. More. Once more, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously he has the strings, but. I have lost my heart. It hurts. He's not the Shogun. Like Unless he was, maybe, but. Burning me alive. I don't think so. I think that this is Turning a whole separate ash. situation. You mean, you wish you had a heart? Hmm. Have you ever heard this story before? Hmm. There once was a puppet soldier. Uh, yeah, so this is not the Nutcracker. This is called the Steadfast Tin Soldier. And basically, there's actually a Disney version of this, but there's a, a soldier who's like missing a leg and he's in love with the ballerina and a bunch of stuff happens and he gets thrown into the fire by like this gesture goblin, like Jack in the Box. And him and the ballerina both get thrown into the fire and they both melt together. They both die together. Whose greatest so, wish was to be the this isn't exactly what's ever. going on. 
right? But the soldier didn't have a heart. Like he, he has a he doesn't have a heart. From. The other one he doesn't have a leg. One day, and that's why the owner doesn't want him in the original him story anymore, because and threw him away into a fire. He has no even in the like he's broken. Eyes never so this is a little different. Why does the, the ballerina day, the ballerina the, looks like I don't know like another character? The next day into a fire. But even in the flames, his eyes never left the ballerina. But yeah, this is a real story. The next day, the people found a tiny heart in the ashes left by the fire. Right. Probably ashes in the shape of a heart. But yeah, it's based but on the same thing. Heart. Maybe. But what if hearts can be born from ashes? Mm hmm. Yeah, okay, see what I don't understand. Is that I know that Scaramouche exists, but this, I thought Scaramouche was at the Fatui. So does he just look like Scaramouche, but he's not Scaramouche? Like, that's what I don't understand. Why is he? How dare you die like this? Unless he is Scaramouche and forgot. And but yeah, like, I know about Scaramouche. Like, I know he exists, and I've seen this character called Scaramouche. So why is he not? To me. Unless he's a puppet, like a copy of Scaramouche. What a joke. And that the Fatui made a copy, like, in case of an emergency, let him out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, let the fake Scaramouche out if the real one dies? I don't know why Scaramouche would be so important, though, that they would make a clone of him compared to Child. Like, I don't know why. But I kind of have a bad feeling about the fact that he wishes he was never it's just born. Ashes. Nothing left but ashes. If only I could have burned to death in that fire, too. Not good. Not good. Not good. No. See, in I fact, think that his wish came true, and that's why he doesn't remember himself or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why he wishes he was never born. So they were like, okay. And that's why he doesn't remember who he is, I suppose, because he wished he was never born. But who is this in these clothes? Oh, see, I thought that that was, I thought it was like Zong Li making a contract, but that's an ice vision, I think. But that's just him then. Oh wait, it's Animo. Okay, well, anyway. Never been born at all. Is that really all you wish for? Yeah, I wonder if because he wished he was never born, that they were like, okay, good. Never been born at all. Is that really now all he's you caught wish in for? a time loop too, just like the Sumeru people or something. Like now he's like, I wish I was never born. So like he was never born, and he's not Scaramouche anymore. He forgot his identity. The origins of writing are lost to time. And it is forbidden to investigate the genesis oh, of language. Oh, forbidden! Everything's fucking forbidden, bestie! But a since red flag! These symbols have silently recorded everything. Oh no! See, that's what they're making the girl do in the orb! They're making her, like, you know what I mean? Like, record everything. The skies. The and that's why she can't leave, or else they won't have their the knowledge mountains. anymore. And the birds. Not good. How does she have omniscience in there? Oh, see, Peace. she's right there. No! And people from all walks of life. Words are strung together and edited. History made and archived for posterity. Right, okay. The scribe records not only the truth, but the questions it leaves unanswered. Many of them will remain unanswered forever. Mm. The profoundest eternal questions are met only with a boundless and eternal silence. You're assuming she has omniscience in there? I mean, she could. Or she's just looking down on the world from where she is. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, like she's doing it. She somehow, I don't know how exactly, but like she's omniscient. She's omniscient, omniscient-ing, I suppose. It seems like he knows that like something's kind of up though with it. Endless suffering. Oh 
Oh, no! Oh, boy! Evil takes on many forms, but always carries a oh. curse. It spawns monsters that lurk in the this mountains guy. where the Adepti dwell, preying on the living for it's decades. It's evil, man! It Not evil, he takes all the evil! Or something. We talked about this in Genshin guessing. It is the sworn duty of the Yaksha to oh. purge all evil. Like he takes all of the pain. But after millennia of bloodshed, karma takes its Oh! The moment of complacency, and I too will succumb to the darkness. An instant of negligence. And it will turn me into one of the monsters I swore to purge. Oh, he has the same makeup as Scara Moosh, who's not Scara Moosh. Slaughter. I now see things for what they really are. Oh man, there's a lot of other selves going on. Oh, dear. You slept the whole day through, you know. Good thing who you're... Are, who is this? You're just in time for the lantern rite. Hello? Uh, oh, Chi-Chi! I carried you here on my back. I'll go get you some medicine now. Oh, dear! Oh. Uh, you have met him? You should know him? I forgot. I don't know. I don't remember him. Sorry, guys. Oh, see, and like that was the whole thing is that Zhao can't, he thinks he can't be around regular people. Or that he should stay away from people because he has bad luck. Oh no! Yeah, it works. You don't need to be afraid. Huh? Are you okay? You look tired. Oh no! This is what happens. Give it some rice white pudding. When somebody tries to treat you and you just walk away. Oh, Venti. Huh? Well, hello there. Care to join me for a drink on this fine evening? Hmm? Huh? Ah. Oh, you start celebrating already. Any rice wine for me? Uh, Sorry. Tonight. Oh my god, can he only rest. hang out with Venti? Like, is that what they're... Very nice. What? <laughs> uh, it's good to take the mask off oh. once in a while. Even just for one night. That's cute. That, they, that sounds like a nice little friendship that they both have. Lantern right promotional video. There's just a lot. There's a lot of things in this playlist. Oh my god, some of these people we did not see teasers for. Oh. Is this in leeway or is this... Oh, this must have been all the characters that were out at like the time. Storms out. Okay. Oh. 
She never meant for it to keep anything out. Uh... That doesn't Don't sound... Oh, oh like fart, you're keeping you? something in? Homesick. Besides, who knows how the people in the rainforest will treat her? Oh, so there's like two places. There's a rainforest and then there's outside? Is that what's happening? Please, can't you let us in? No, entry's prohibited. Uh-oh. But the sandstorm is raging. And we have a child with us. Oh, oh no. Hey, no means no. Are they like divided somehow? There's like oh, people on. in the desert and then people in the forest? This way, quick. <gasps> Easily. Oh. Watch your step. <sighs> Don't worry. Uh. If they do find you, I'll handle it. Wait. Relax. Just trust the Dendro Archive. Hey, for that! Things are different now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Was that oh, her? I'll handle it. Okay, yeah, her eyes are blue. Okay, okay, okay. I was confused for a second. Relax. For some Just reason, she looked Dendro different, Archive. but yeah, that was her. Things are different now. Things are different <sighs> now. Say. As opposed but to what before. Are you with all that Mora? Isn't that like your whole life savings? <sighs> You'll see when we get there. Oh, the money has the same symbol that Paimon has! All right, we'll take good care of the girl. Your generous donation will be used oh. to provide for the desert orphans. I'll need a name for the fund. How about the Wall of Hope? Oh! That wall was never meant for keeping things out. It was for protection. Oh, I see. I hope the kids can forget about all the sandstorms have a chance at a real life okay that was nice i think yeah i was a little bit confused about the but yeah what i was going to say was like oh i thought like oh the wall doesn't keep people out it was supposed to keep people in did they say it was for protection so i guess i'll take them at their word but yeah it seems like there's two like somehow segregated societies so but they're saying it's different now so who was the dendro archon before is the question Prepare ten parts of violet grass and yeah, three see, this is the man shells. that we mash them together with some fresh glaze. You guys said that I know, but I forgot. And consume the resulting herbal brew. Um. Oh, does something about this prescription displease you? <laughs> oh, not at all. I have complete confidence in your prescriptions. Oh, they work every time. Okay, then what's the problem? It, it's just that. This prescription is for a pair of siblings based in Mondstadt. Oh. Mondstadt. Then these ingredients will siblings not be like Jean and mm, Barbara. Are fine. It's just the glaze lilies. They don't come cheap, especially not fresh ones. Unless they're. Poor Anthony will have uh -oh. to work a lot of extra hours to afford this. Unless they're like other mm. people, like you know what I mean. NPC people, yeah. This new prescription, though not as fast acting, will allow gradual recovery and buildup of strength. Okay. It well suited to someone who's been suffering from a long illness. The needed ingredients can also be found around. Oh, Monster. he's so nice. Wait, dendro processed berries? Uh, uh... Oh my God, <laughs> bro! Stranger you don't have anything, do you? <laughs> No. Unless they just think that it's weird. I have another backup solution. Oh my god. You'll need to boil some frog skins and lizard tails before adding a few drops of Changsheng's venom. <sighs> yeah, th th please. This will be fine. <laughs> okay. Arnold, I guess I'll, I'll refresh. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It drips the wet from who? The snake is talking? <laughs> you forgot that the snake talks? Oh, I see, I see, I see. My... Mission. Who is is that the wanderer again? We've heard so many people. Like we've put so many men. Wait, well that doesn't look very much like him, but it kind of looks the like his outfit. Sin is the fairest. Everyone sinks. Make the most of the final feast. Because for the sinners, oh. the curtain call has come. Yay. <laughs> Oh. Ladies 
and gentlemen, she did it! Okay, it's the Same twins! Is believing, my friends. Oh, they're this cute! This Linny and Lynette's magic show. I love them, they're so cute! <laughs> the essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. Mm. And the most important part of this is what people see. I suppose. Yep, I mean, that's how theater kind of works, in a sense, right? People don't realize how much they expect their eyes to tell them the truth. Oh, it's the girl with the camera. But what and then the new girl. It's not real. It's all a show. It's all a show. Oh, no. Oh, it's the guy. I remember and seeing some of this. The show is carefully controlled. How? By choosing the right time, the right place. Mmm, yes. And the right people. Oh no! The bars! Wait, 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 wait. Maybe that was just a window. Three controls everything. Oh. But keep your eyes open. And, and you might be able to turn things to your Somebody advantage. else. In a nutshell, magic is what you see with your own two eyes. Oh! Yeah, this lady! Very fun. But it's not Well, enough. that's rude! <laughs> Let me make something clear. You think of yourself she? as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Uh oh. Good actors hold oh. their craft to mesmerize the oh, no. crowd. Is she like their boss? I thought that she was the head of the Fatui. I like her though. Oh shit. going to finally see a real twist for once please refrain from levity in the court oh this trial is far from oh over. oh no they're giving like a real like like god of light and darkness vibe in the sense of like farina's the the more manic one and he's the more serious one but yeah i thought that that lady she was giving great like she was giving like boss vibes so i thought that she was in charge of the fatui not light and dark but like you know like how in death note there's like ryuk and rem and they both sort of balance each other out like ryuk sort of has like a fun kind of i don't really care about the humans like they're just my entertainment personality and then rem She's actually fascinated by humans and their ability to love. Not Lynette. No, 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 no. I mean Farina and Nouvellette. Yeah, like serious comedy. Like the mask, right? Like the theater masks. But yeah, I'm wondering though about the lady because I thought that like she was giving boss vibes. Like just from her design that she would be a bit more important than just running a theater group. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe People it's not just a theater group, the but I don't know. I'm just saying, right? That which is mysterious captivates us all. So, did you have a good look? Yep. The hat's definitely empty. Okay. So how is your twin sister a cat and you're not a cat? Whoa! Amazing! Is what how I don't do understand. In the space you of know what I mean? Like... A magician must shatter the barrier between reality and What's going and on fantasy, with this? Giving the audience a glimpse of the extraordinary. I do like all this theater stuff, but... <sighs> Oi, this isn't what I ordered. I clearly asked for a cider. Hey, you asked for a glass of our finest wine. Maybe you've had enough. Uh, yeah, right. You think I don't know what I ordered? <laughs> oh. How about you take Damn. another look at your drink? Oh my god, Jesus turning water into wine. What yeah, is going on? Stuff. Mm, oh dear. The sweet smell of apples. What the? How is he doing it, though? It can't old. just be misdirection. In the eyes of most people, 
Magic tricks are like miracles. Sure! Yeah, okay! But as magicians, we prefer to think... Oh! ...that great miracles are like magic tricks. Oh, well, that's interesting! But I don't know what bearing this will have on Fontaine, like, on Fontaine, you know? Nouvellette! Many questions have long perplexed me. I neither know why I was born in this form. Why are they always just being born, bro? Or do I understand just like the, the Sumero girl just like popped up out of the nowhere, so is Nouvellette the Archon then? It's as if there's something I've forgotten oh. since the very beginning. Uh oh. So. Why don't you try to find the answer for yourself? Okay, no, why are people bored? But people are just coming out of the ground and they don't know where they came from. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it kind of feels to me. Monsieur Novelette, the next trial is about to begin. Oh. Ah. What? What is this? Thank you for the reminder. What? <laughs> it's not like you to zone out, Monsieur Novelette. Okay. I recalled some things from my past. Right? Events from a very long time ago. Okay. Oh, see, he was the Archon. What happened? To me, humanity is like a pool of water in which I see my reflection. Right. Only through observing them can I slowly come to understand myself. That makes sense to me. Okay. The court is I like now him. In session. He's cute. I like him. Like, I like his, like, his vibes. I don't know. Like, I just like his vibes, right? Maybe they rule together. Could that be possible that him and Farina both rule at the same time? Your Grace, Fontaine's child welfare Your services Grace? already made all the necessary arrangements. You needn't escort the criminal person. Oh my god! I just want to ensure this task isn't left to someone who... He's a cop?! Uh, hello? Child welfare Who services, it? though. It's Risley, your father's colleague. I'm here with his friend. Oh, come on in. Dad's still packing up his stuff, so you'll have to give him a minute. Oh, was this man <laughs> running right. away? He has a long journey ahead, after all. Oh, no! That's not good. All right. Be a good girl and stay out of trouble while I'm away, okay? I will. Are they just Your friend here is tricking nice. her? Like, the like in the thinking, he oh, he's going away. It's not very polite. He's getting arrested. <laughs> he was laundering money. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Come back soon, Daddy. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh. I will. Don't worry. Oh, sir, you're going to jail. What did you do? Sympathy, your grace. Oh my god, your but grace, oh her, no. Dad. I only sympathize with her. Oh shit. Love should be warm. But to you, it's become a form of punishment. Oh my god. Let's go. What did he do? Next time you see your daughter, I hope you'll have become a better father. Oh no. That kind of sounds like that, like he was beating his kids or something. Maybe he just did bad things and didn't think about the fact. Because they said something about child welfare services, like... But yeah, I mean, he could have just been a drunk. Marine, oh, welfare services is just to take care of the daughter while he's in jail. But it doesn't mean he did anything to her. It's just that, like, she has no other family, so... It, yeah, it kind of sounds like, yeah, she needs someone to look after her if her dad's in jail. I'm like, what did you do, sir? What did you do? Oh, no. Opera walks the line between truth and fiction. I kind of have a feeling oh, Farina no, has no friends is, except for her clones, which is maybe sad. As the characters are concerned. Their fate is real. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Therein lies the rub. 
Are you and I the audience? Or characters? Oh no! Well, well, that's a good question! Are we not all Nobody the main characters of our sure. life, I suppose? After all, nothing is easier to fool than the senses. I have a theory I'm cooking, guys, but let me cook you after. Know only one thing for certain that the prophecy is true. About what? Because in this show, the prophecy is a part of all characters' fates. Okay. Hmm? Don't believe me? So, you still haven't noticed that I'm oh! not even speaking to you. Oh! Oh, yes, no! Recording plane wait, 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 why? How? What do you mean? How is that happening? Now, do you see? The prophecy has come true, and everything has been lost to the Oh, book. no! <laughs> like another abandoned and place? You are the only one I have left. Oh, no! Oh, it's kind of sounding like Farina's people so, kind of drowned. They seem like, it's like cool you know. Like Conria 2.0 Conria. Oh no. Unless you can first deceive. Well, okay. The fact that she's like alive, I guess then she's the Archon. No, no, no. Not that it is Conria, but like the fact that like another Conria, like a different situation happened. Oh no. This dog thing, what is this? The only one I have left. Oh no, yeah, like a fallen kingdom, another one. And so, while fate may seem like it's playing cruel jokes on you, oh only no, fate will not deceive you. Unless you can first deceive. <sighs> Myself thinking, I'm gonna hurt myself thinking about it. Fontaine, you're so removed from the plot that whatever you come up with will not land. That's not next. What if? Okay, hold on. Let me cook chat. Yeah, let, let it happen. What if Nuvalet was the Archon, but then to save Farina's life, transferred over the Archonage to her so she could be alive because it seems like that all of her people drowned and so what if Nuvalet was the Archon but then he was like I don't want to let this little girl die so then he gave her the power that's why he like was the Archon before and he was like I don't know who I am I was just born or whatever and that's why they sort of work together because he has all the skills but he wants to die or just be normal I don't know like he just wants to be normal and so then he handed it over to Farina so then Farina could take his place kind of like how Zong Lee just wanted to quit or whatever he's actually he's chosen like an actual successor and maybe so she did die he he helped her you know like he made sure that she wouldn't drown yeah like Nuvalet is basically like he's taking a vacation to find himself or something and he gave everything to Farina to take care of for the the moment because he needs to understand humanity and he can't understand humanity if he's not human like, he needs to be able to be human, so he gave his Archon stuff to somebody else. And maybe it saved her life. The other thing is, is that maybe they look very similar. So, like, I don't know if they do this. Not to say that they're related, but what if Farina is part of Nouvellet? <laughs> like how, like, Shion and Roxas are, like, part of each other, but still different people. And part of Sora, but still different people. But they have the same hair! They have the same hair and stuff. Like, Nouvellet, like, they're both connected. <laughs> like, in some way. No, guys, stop laughing! <laughs> yeah, like, not gender bent, but, like, what if he's, like part of her that knows how to have fun personified like you know how they think like we think that like the wanderer is a puppet so what if farina is just a puppet with new oh what if what if he's she's a puppet with nouvellet's like memories right and that's why nouvellet can't remember anything so she's like a part of him and that one day they all need to like fuse back together <laughs> stop laughing at me it makes perfect 
makes sense, right? Like, <laughs> it makes sense to me that maybe, like, she's, like, the fun part of him or, like, the human part of him. <laughs> and that's why they look similar. <laughs> they look so similar. They look almost the same. Like, look at her. She has the same streaks in her hair. But maybe that just happens when you become the Archon. Maybe that's just, uh, like, she just turned into this Are when she became the Archon? Or characters on the stage? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I take back what I said. You're so close to the truth of the Fontaine plot. No, I'm not. You guys are lying. You're lying to me. You guys are you guys are making fun of me. <laughs> you guys are so rude. You're bull bullying. Bullying is happening right here. There's no way. There's no way that I'm even close. You guys are just... <laughs> You guys are bullying me, that's not nice. Okay, yeah, maybe she doesn't have the streaks here. So maybe, yeah, she did get the hair. Uh, maybe she does, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. I, oh, well, her hair's longer here. Cause she has the two forms, right? Yeah, but okay, anyway, forget about that. I think that Nouvellet gave her the Archonage, at the very least. I think that's, he did that. Whether or not anything else, and like, so, that they're the same well, person. <laughs> it seem like it's playing cool jokes on you. Maybe she drowned the place. Maybe and it's her fault. Maybe you. she accidentally drowned her kingdom place. Try to imagine how your sense of info... How your sense of haven't released any info. I can't, I can't look at... I can't do this, guys. I can't do this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go back. I can't live like this. Where's Nouvellet? We have to watch this again. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, Many hold on. questions have long perplexed Oh, me too, bestie, me too. I neither know why I was born in this form. Okay. That sounds a little suspicious to me. Nor do I understand where my long life should take me. Right. Maybe what's happening is, is that Nouvellet pretends to be the Archon so Farina can have like a normal life. You know what I mean? Like maybe he pretends to be the Archon so people don't target her. It's as if Could there's happen. something I've forgotten since the very beginning. You probably have, Bestie. You probably did forget. There's some weird stuff going so, on, sir. Why don't you try to find the answer? Okay, so that's her talking, right? For yourself. And so that's why he gave it up. You're a ghost rider? You guys are you guys are rude! You guys are not nice! You guys are bullying me! The further I get from the truth! <laughs> the more you guys are bullying me! No 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 no. But what I'm saying is is that Nouvellet It's not like you to say um, Nouvellet. Yeah, like he was the Archon, and then he's either he either gave it to Farina or like he's pretending to be the That's Archon publicly so Farina can be uh, you know, hidden. It's all theater, right? Okay, see somebody was drowning, right? Humanity is like a pool of water. And he was there when they drowned! Only through observing them. What's Farina hiding from Signora, bro? Oh wait, but see, there's a throne here. The court is now in session. Maybe it's even the opposite that she's pretending to be the Archon and he's actually in charge. Like it could be that. I'm trying to cook, guys. <laughs> Let her cook. Like maybe she, yeah, maybe she is the fake person, and that he's the real one. Like she's a fake archon, and he's the real one, or he's, or she's the real one, and he's the fake one. Either way, one of them is pretending to be the archon. One thing for certain. To the public. Not the prophecy, one of them's faking each so other. <laughs> Not that they're fake people, David. That one of them's just pretending to be the archon, and the other one's not. Has come true. Everything has been lost to the great. Ugh. See? This flood, bro. I have left. Wait, so is that not the throne that he was sitting on? I don't know what the dog has to do with this. I think that he saved her. Is what I think. Because those are the core. Is this not the courtroom? Is this not the scales or something? Like, yeah, I think that she, I think that she was saved by Nouvellet then. And that he gave her his immortality 
so she could live. But yeah, that's that's all I'm getting right now. That's all I'm getting. Not that they're the same person, guys. It's just that like either Nouvellet has the Gnosis or she has the Gnosis. And then the other one is just pretending to be the Archon in public. Whoever isn't the Archon is pretending that they are actually the Archon. What's with these characters in Immortality? I mean, Zong Li's immortal. He's lived forever. Venti's lived forever. Everybody's living forever. Someone, someone, one of them is the Argon and the other one's faking it. Guys, no, you guys are not nice. You guys know what I mean. Is yet to be sent. Oh. He doesn't have a fixed residence, so addressing oh. the letter has proved problematic. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll deliver it. Okay. If you find the target, report to me. Sure. Demoiselle. Who is she looking for? <laughs> Who doesn't have a fixed residence? Huh? Us? Oh, we don't have a fixed residence. I suppose. Okay. 